What's up, chatters? Hello, fellow Twitch chatters. Oh my god, Bjergs and Akali! Yo. Yo. Perfect. What's up, bruv? Uh, son. <laughs> Double lift is freaking out at Sinky. <gasps> Gasp. Where the hell did he go? I don't know. a call with two randos uh, huh. i see so interesting two, two random twitch shutters are better than us okay all right dude jeez i guess we'll have our own watch party i didn't realize my ego was getting kicked in the fucking nuts first thing of the day <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's so fucking hot oh my god dude it's Legit 105 degrees where I'm at right now. <laughs> Holy I took my dog out and I was just fucking sweating. Like, <laughs> yeah, I took a walk and I'm sweating as well. Check my AC. How it going? I heard we were replaced in your watch party with two random Twitch chatters, huh? <laughs> no, they're not random. It's ASIC and Insanity. What the Lena. fuck? Uh. <laughs> Giga randos, eh? legit randos, <laughs> completely unknown. <laughs> Wait, someone just told me if we predict the total of inspired KP at first game, they'll get the hundred if we're close or get it. <clears throat> Wait, what? They want us to guess inspired total KP. You win. And Doran's dating KP. <laughs> True. Wait, what's the reward if we get his KP? Like, if you win, they'll gift you 100. Oh, Wh Whoever shit. wins. It, it, wait, are we guessing a number or like his percent kill participation? A uh, number. Kills plus assists. Oh. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> um. That is hard. I got... I got 15. 15 total? 15. Mm. I'll go with... I'll go with 19. <laughs> Very original. <clears throat> Thank you. Double it? Yeah, but, but what was the question? I was like... It could predict like random shit. inspired total KP, so a number. If you uh, win, you get 100 gifted. It'll. It, he said you can be within one of it. Wait, like, is, if you, does double sound quieter than 94. normal? 94. He's okay now. 94. No, 94. it's like a, a number, not a percent. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, well, I mean, he could be within one, so like 93 or 95 <laughs> kills would also be in acceptable. Playoffs or in, in, in like the entire split plus playoffs. This series. Isn't it game one? Or... Oh, I see. Predicted in the series. I'm I, gonna I say 55. Wait, I think okay. he literally said game one earlier. Oh, in game one only? <laughs> I, that's what we were told before. If that's not the case, then I'm not voting fucking 15. I mean, we're okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like 17. Yeah. <laughs> game one, boss. Okay, he says game one. Yeah. <laughs> he responded. All right, so we got 15, 17, and 19. Oh. Oh, Danny. Something about flashing into the Jinx traps does not seem like the most effective way to play that. <laughs> Did he get his head caved in before the dive? I want to look at the situation before he even got dove. Yeah, he was... He was full HP, I changed my mind. It was... He healed before the ignite. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I honestly, he played it didn't that, matter. He played he, that he, actually... He didn't flash into uh, it. He, yeah. he played that about as well as he actually could have. That was, yeah, it was it looks the funny. problem with... 
That's a problem with playing Senna, actually. It's just like you're so vulnerable to getting jumped on or dove. You need to have like a massive HP advantage in lane, but you can't do it if it's Senna TK versus double ranged. Is this even a good combo after the Tom changes? I was under the impression this was a good combo like early because Senna was not vulnerable when Tom could eat her. Oh, it's still it was still a really good combo even with Tom's W being different because like yeah. it, just, it made it more kill pressure and less defensive focused. Just like yeah. sometimes can be really good. We definitely have seen a lot of it after the changes too. Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. missed the oh barrel. Santorin. Damn, Santorin was ready oh, for that. What impact just Wait. hit six. Oh my god. Oh shit, I accidentally. We post gone for sure. Oh, there we go. One on the board. One on the board. Let's that was a go. nice flash by Santorin. He was definitely ready for that. On the initial yeah, combo. Yeah, yeah, that was sick. It, the way that Impact was playing it was his body language, like, honestly betrayed the, the counter gank. But it was worth it because the way he played it hit him six in the middle of the game. Yeah. Uh, that was just, everyone played really well. <laughs> okay. Oh my, wait, did you see One that of those Charlie? might not be as legit as the others. <laughs> huh. They're just full lane swapping into a GP. You see what happened to Germany? Like, they, he used it and they panned the camera like super high up and like the flag was down, but you could still see it going up in the sky. It's really Did weird. Anyone else really faded or just sneaky? <clears throat> oh, I guess Holy you're blind as fuck. Yep. Dude, it was I weird. I, I thought I got some. What, some olive oil last night, but it ended up being cannabis oil. Ooh. Oh, are you sure it was last night and not like right before the stream? Oh, I actually wow. woke up right before the stream. Oh, oh God. I got his EQ canceled. Santorin just fucked them there. Canceled the EQ, stole the Herald. And I actually think he managed to fuck Inspired's mom during that, too. Holy. I think so. He actually crypto scammed all five of TL on their own sponsor, Coinbase, as well. It was just. He did everything perfectly. So, right after this is when he fucks Inspired's mom. Oh! Wait, dude, that Jinx ult did so much damage to Harold. That was like 800 it or something. Does. Yeah. I feel like mythic items, what they did was they allowed AD carries to be useful at one item. Like Gale Force Solution or yeah, like Kraken yeah. Slayer X. Like it made AD carries come online way faster at the expense of having like the godly three items. Like they still have a pretty strong three item spike, but it definitely feels worse since the change. I I, I really like it though. I'm not going to complain at all because like the mythic items feel pretty fun to play with. Yeah, I, I do like the mythic concept. Yeah. I feel like the main thing Mythic Items did was made it so, like, you can make the Mythic Items strong because you don't have to worry about people getting more than one of them. Uh -huh. True. Yeah. Where, with, like, the old item system, you had to, like, account for every single possible item combination. Oh. Huh. Is this good? Like, I'm... I'm They're just going I'm really confused on... about this force by EG. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like they even win this. They had first move from his ear, so I guess that's why they did it, but... Yeah, they didn't blow much, though. Just Santorin's flash. And it felt like Santorin didn't even have to flash, because he yeah. still had Lulu ulti, full HP, Trundle ulti was running. He kind of panicked. One thing I've always thought about for this Senna TK lane is it doesn't matter how much CS you have relative to enemy, enemy AD carry. All that matters is how much CS the enemy AD carry has. Like, for example, if you're, if you're both 140 CS right now, that's pretty bad for Tom Kench, I feel like. But, like, if you had played Santa Tom Kench and, like, both you and the opponent's opposing AD carry didn't farm that great in lane, that's, like, super advantaged for you. Because, like, Tom Kench just kind of is naturally strong without having needing any items at all. And, like, Senna is always getting souls. So the less farm the enemy AD carry is, the more, like, relatively strong you actually are. So in that sense, mm -hmm. I think they did a pretty bad job because... Uh, Hans is, has a lot of farm and has a lot of plates, literally five plates, so he's <laughs> turbo accelerated. Yeah. It's just a really weird playstyle compared to any other lane. Which yeah, is why I think it, supports it, are really good at it. 
watching this EG is like, it it really, especially since the Inspire interview, feels like they just are trying to deal with this like massive champion pool gap in AD carry, and everything they do is just trying to compensate for that, which is yeah, really not where you want to be as a team. I mean, just look at this draft. They banned Sivir on blue side again. Kalista and Sivir blue side ban. Makes no sense. If you look to any other series, Sivir is just straight first picked, and Kalista is a red side ban. So they're they're like literally down two two bands on the side that most people prefer for pick ban. It, and, and it seems so weird, man. Like the AD carry being the one oh. who like can't play stuff. Like, yeah, it's fucking weird. Is is playing Sivir that much harder than any other AD carry? Like I don't know. Like Kalista, I could kind of understand. She's pretty different. Yeah. Sivir, no, I, like she I, I do not, not understand the Sivir thing. I like Sivir is actually so. Sivir is like so easy that she's like in that same tier as like worn top where she's so easy that a lot of people will just say like i don't even need to practice her because yeah you know it it's like anyone can just play server i want to play something that's more fun i want to play fucking i don't know twitch i want to play jinx i want to do something crazy but he is totally griefing his team i and, and i, I, I kind of like her i guess top What's actually funny though is, uh... sorry, totally unrelated to what you're saying. I'll, I'll let you finish. But Hans, is, Hans picked Jinx blind, which is a champ that Danny can actually play. So what's up with that? We go ahead. Wait, what? EG first pick? Oh, Whipple. EG, EG what? first pick to Zir. Oh my Holy god! Holy shit! Whipple dead? just played this fight so bad, dude. What? Ew! That actually just made me cringe. Oh, well, he might have gotten core killed just now. Bro, Ooh. holy fuck. That was... I was just talking about how I kind of like Gragas as a pick these days. Yeah, I, I, see, I agree. And Whippo was really not supporting my thesis on that one. Holy <laughs> fuck. Dude, that was so disgusting. I actually think... You know, Gragas top in theory, it sounds like it would be good against Orin as well. Just in terms of just like two top tanky champs that scale. But Gragas could actually just one-shot... Uh, squishy like they're just I, very different play styles yeah i uh -oh. like gragas as a blind pick. i think blind picking gragas top yeah. is actually pretty solid i don't think he has any like unplayable matchups well wow, it's actually so bad impact just yeah that, that was dying a, here that was a totally crazy mistake to make because he he knows that the enemy team just got kicked off drag so like where are they right like they, they have to be around mid and bot they were just on drag and he just kind of allowed himself to get picked when there was no one showing mid. I just peeped the draft. Uh, I don't, like, the, we were talking about the champion pool things, but I don't know if it's relevant specifically here, because EG open banned Callista, which is just yeah. like, all right, like, I think it's fine to not play one pick from, like, Danny, like, if you don't want to play Callista, because she is hard to execute, it's fine. But then TL yeah. response bans Zeri, and then yeah. EG bans the Sivir. What, why why ban Sivir there? Yeah, you mean, now have the only high tier AD carry left left. It's Sivir. Well, I mean, it, it's not necessarily a champion pool thing. Is more of as like it could just be a strategy thing. Like maybe they think it's better to put both AD carries on some dog shit and not meta pick. Well, the thing is, they specifically like, this, this has game. been what every team's doing to EG is they just ban Zeri because of the OP champs. It's the only one that Danny has yeah. shown to play. Y I can yeah. understand you giving the benefit of the doubt, but like for EG, they just didn't play Sivir the entire last series. Yeah, I I, I do agree. Like he, it is not he hard. Play like, it. He, he should be able to play it. Like there's no reason to dodge it. This would be the same shit as a mid laner not playing Azir right now. Like it it makes no sense. Yeah. It's like when when you can only play Senna Seraphine, that actually warps your entire draft. But dude, I, I think they should be playing Senna with Seraphine. Like I think that bot lane combo is super fucking strong. Uh, I actually combo, think yeah. Vulcan Vulcan being put on Tom Kench duty is is no way his idea. No way, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think that Vulcan is like, yeah, fuck yeah, Tom Kench Seraphine, Senna Tom Kench, like give me this shit, it's so good. I think he'd rather play Engage or yeah, he'd rather play Senna. Whoa. What? That's the mm -hmm. second time that Inspired mm -hmm. has done that at an I'm angle where it so doesn't have to dude. do anything. If I'm TL, what do I even think when I see that? I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? 
I don't know. <laughs> maybe they're maybe they're trying to hustle. They're like, let's just keep doing shit engage after shit engage. Then if we finally do a good one, they like won't be ready for it. They'll oh, let their guard down. That could be a oh, strat. Yeah. Super viable. Something's going on. Use oh, everything. You also, you also, this is this is probably the least common Senna, like uh, builds these days as well. Like, Eclipse gives you more combat stats, and also kind of just, yeah, it, it just gives you more combat stats, right? Like the Eclipse proc and the move speed and the shield to survive stuff. The vamp is actually somewhat useful. Um, but wait, wow, Boipo could have just E flash one. Boipo, one hundred percent could have killed her four sums right there. Yeah. He probably didn't have enough info on the rest oh, of the team Jojo? to go for it. Wow, that's a slash. Look, look how strong that three man for the TL draft it is. They can yeah. just walk up with the Shirelias or a speed up, pillar somebody, and like, there's no way you can fight back. You're just getting beat down from range or what, you're gonna engage on Trundle. Mm -hmm. They really get this meta, I feel like. Something I've wondered, I don't know if you guys have tried it at all, but like, with, with the Sin and TK, is there ever a world where you just like have neither of them farm? Like Tom just gets a support item and just plays like a support instead of trying to be this like just really fucking weak tank? That's a good question. A couple patches ago, or not? Couple, here, though. Probably about a year ago, uh, it was somewhat common for Senna to be played with Man Immune with with Tom Kench just uh, being a support. Mm. And the reason why it wasn't good is because, or it's not good anymore and was barely good then is because they changed Senna's scaling to be like kind of like more reliant on her souls. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Senna doesn't farm, but it's just like, I guess I'm asking oh. like, oh. is Tom Kench farming better than him just like being a support with wards and stuff so Senna doesn't have to be the warding one? Well, I think if you if you have a starved Tom Kench, he's not tanky enough to frontline for Senna, so it's definitely better for him to farm. Wow, Horus Horus is should caught be dead. again, but it could be worth. Like Hans is out of mana though. He's out of mana. He oh. needs to get a. He needs to get a good presence of mind. Or, presence of oh, mind. Wait, Crocs doesn't oh have one. Oh. oh my God, Hans oh. it. Snipe. Let's go. Uh, oh, I don't think cleanup. Bjergsen can do anything here. Holy shit! Danny's just going face to face with him. I think Bjergsen can literally just go on him. Wow, we was dead. Oh my Bjergsen's God. Bjergsen's legit going in one v five. Yeah, he might. What's he going to get though? What's he going to get? Nothing. Wow. Dang. Dude, how similar is this EG comp to the comp oh. C9 played against Bjergsen when they got Wait. reverse sweep? Wait. Remember, like, Bjergsen picked a Kali into a team with almost no CC, and I'm pretty sure it was like Sinatom GP. Uh, uh, you're talking about the series I was in. <laughs> it was uh, it was Jinx, Jinx Zillion Tom. Oh, okay. I just remember seeing like almost no CC. The, the what was big the moment, alert? the big moment was like Niski like randomly ulted me. It wasn't even close, and just like, we, like wasted everything mm. when Akali like got into deep flank. Yeah, and like the bottom tier too. Yeah, I remember that. It was truly unlucky. Oh, wow. Pretty decent Gragas ult there. Oh, wow. Okay. Holy shit. That was... Spire got fucked so hard there. He had to ult to cancel the Gragas ult. Yeah. Kind of hard to see, though, in the moment. It's funny to see a, a, a jungler opting in to go full tank when normally they go gore against Trundle. Like, you usually see the opposite. You see, like, full tank junglers opting to go bruiser build against Trundle because, like, they don't want to give him the stats. Uh oh And... Nice barrel combo by Impact. Or Gragas, either one. Yeah, both t both top laners having really good barrel combos. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> They're barrel users. Bury I them. don't love the Akali pick though. I think in general, I don't really like Akali in this meta. I, I think it's an okay game oh for her God. though. Like, they don't dead. have a lot of stuff to stop them. Wow. Jojo, is wow. Having, Jojo is having a really good game. Like it's it's been pretty quiet, but he's kind of survived a lot of ganks. He's been doing a lot of damage and just like and usually really Jojo ints. That's actually the biggest thing. Whippo. Yeah, yeah, dude, Whippo's like true. the only one dying. <laughs> dude, uh, he's making Gragas look vulnerable. Like 
Hans has no flash. Oh, wow. Hans actually has no flash. You wow. have no mana. I mean, yeah. again, it's okay. like it's like it's like JoJo and Vulcan and Danny as well. They are they're doing a lot. That sequence was started, I think, by <laughs> Tom Kench W into mid lane. Man, this is so. I, I feel like TL's bot side was pressuring super hard, but now they're just kind of getting cucked by the rest of the team. I, I feel like each, or yeah. if TL didn't pick Akali, Gragas, and they had like some better champs, I, I think Gragas is fine, but I don't think Bopo plays him that well. Yeah. I don't know, it just feels like TL's really trying to 3v5. He's well, normally good with Gragas, I think. I think. I think this fight is honestly Bjergsen's fault, too. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, th I think Bjergsen This part like, where he's going face-to-face -face with Danny and Jojo, like, he should just actually just walk up and kill him. It's a no-flash Senna walking up to a level 13 Akali, and he, he obviously ends up going in eventually. Doesn't really end up killing anybody. I think he honestly misplayed that at the end. I felt like Jojo should have died. How did he so, not like, kill in two Jojo? Instances, he, he, he missed his Q on the Zonia's timing, it looked like. Or he maybe could have just Q like autoed the, and then waited on his R2. Like, like the there was like a lot of ways where he could have played. Yeah. Should have had execute damage by itself. Looks weird. No, it didn't kill though. Yeah. He can't target Senna and Shroud and Senna <laughs> can't hit him. So like, they're just going to either walk past each other or Senna's going to eventually auto attack him and die immediately. <laughs> either win, either way, it's a win-win for the Akali. I think the hesitation at the beginning definitely put him in a weird spot. Who has flash? Oh, all right. It don't matter. He's fucking Holy dead. Holy shit! He's, he's fucking putting Making the clown. He's, he's, he's actually not dead. dead. He's actually he's not fine. dead. Yeah. Inspired might actually, actually die now. Fine here. He delayed it so hard. Yeah, his his ult was really good on impact. He pushed him away so he can follow up and the ult. That was smart. Fucked again. Wow. That Sarah oh, that was <laughs> Yeah. Plus grasp and. Gragas passive. He's actually so tanky with this build, despite yeah. being like a, just an AP build. <laughs> oh, dude, that's what I love about Gragas. He's tanky, not because he like can take a lot of damage from the carries or whatever, but because he's like slippery. He can like ult. He can pressure them with damage. He can ult them away, and he has Zonias. I think he's like so skillful to play Gragas, actually. Yeah, he is. Ever since that patch where they lowered his cooldowns, it's kind of like brought out this build people are doing where you just build super heavy CDR and you just have no cooldowns on your shit. Oh. The pack died too fast dead here. or is he too tanky? <gasps> He's too tanky. Sure, like is Bjergsen actually playing these fights correctly? He's, I feel like he's like already got his foot out the door before they even like start the play. He's kind of underfed too, no? Look at him, no, he's got he's, like one he, he's item. Really, <laughs> he's really under farmed. He actually, Right there, I didn't see anything that he could have done differently. I mean, he could have stayed in longer, right? Like, he jumped out so fast when I feel like there's no real threat on him. Like, he can stay in until the very end. That's actually true, yeah. He just needed to stay in for a little bit more and flash out or R2 out. Dude, what is with XP? Like, are we almost fucking max and we have one item? <laughs> that's, so that's, what I, that's what I'm saying is so different. A competitive in solo queue. Yeah. Okay. So literally everything. He presses R. It misses because impacts like in travel. It's weird. He hits his E. R2. I don't. Like, I don't. I don't think he played that bad. I don't think he played that bad. Cool. I think he did. Like, why did he need to R out so early? Why not just stay and kill impact? What's the threat? Well, he just overestimated his damage. Yeah, the guys. He didn't. Coming he in. obviously. He obviously didn't know impact would live with one percent HP, but he saw the TP coming in and he. He did about as much damage as he could. It, it was very think, well played if it kills, but it didn't kill, so yeah. it looked weird. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, like... Uh, I wouldn't think that R2 would clip him like that while he goes out, you know? I don't think, like, he's thinking, oh, you know, I'll just leave him 1 HP, get the fuck out of here, and Blipo can finish it. I, I, I'm pretty sure he just thought, oh, this is going to kill for sure, I know, and he miscalculated. Yeah. Mm. It does suck though that his R1 got. I don't actually even understand how that works. It just it did no damage because he was like getting knocked back. I, I was actually under the impression that you could not stop R1's damage, like even if you flashed it. 
Guess you can. Yeah, I don't know. Oh? I mean, I'm mostly just looking at the fact that, like, even in the top fight, Bjergsen, he's, like, getting out so early, which it's good to do if the enemy dead. team has threats on you. But he's up against a comp with almost no CC. Like, he can really just stay in. Did you guys just notice that they sent Hans and Whippo to the drag? Like, is that is that a miscommunication by TL, or is that... I, I'm just... That seemed like a terrible trade, yeah. Yeah, like, w w if you're going to do the solo drag and we stop Baron strat, you don't do it with three people, you do it with four. <laughs> yeah. It feels like the main reason why TL couldn't walk up there was because they were waiting for the two stragglers to get back from drag, and it's like, that just seems so obvious. Somebody solos it every time. Oh, whatever. It, it, I think that the enemy team's champions are super relevant, too. Like, Azir with these items just melts Baron, so you can't really leave him yeah. alone near it for very long. Dude, he is so ahead of Bjergsen. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, basically just a full death cap up. Yeah, and two levels. Like, it's just it's ridiculous how ahead he is. Yeah. How Four many souls he got, though? Two items. Zier calling. Crazy. Even his jungler has more items. Drundle. Even his teacher. What the fuck happened this game, man? Like, did he miss every cannon? I actually don't know what happened to, to Bjerg this game. Like he he played he played pretty poorly in like a quiet way I'd say, where it's like, yeah, being down ADCS right. But it's it's not even about being down ADCS. It's like it's about the par. Like how much farm should a Nikali have at 32 minutes? I think it's reasonable that he that he can just farm right. Like he's not gonna have above 10 CS per minute the way that Jojo does. But I think it should be close to 300, probably close to 320 right now. Something happened that fucked him over, which is really surprising because his team had control the whole game. It was not like he was getting ganked or pressured. It was like they got they got Harold, they dropped it bot, they got bot turret, they swapped top. Like it was like everything was going like pretty according to plan. So I'm just curious what happened. Yeah. Probably some form of misplay for sure. Yeah. Oh, and he's getting that dumb fucking damage. Ow. Oh my god, that actually Boom. that actually almost killed. That Q barely healed him in time to stop him from dying there. The fuck was that? Jesus. Oh. All right. I I, I actually really like. I, I don't often see a, a Jarvan do that so many times. He did it a bunch of times, really shitty on Santorin. But a couple of the times that he's done it has been very nice. Well, he yeah, makes way more out. sense because yeah, he actually yeah. has his teammates now that do damage. Before it was like literally was totally, nobody. <laughs> yeah, it was totally. Troll. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think it's that uncommon. Oh. To do that combo. Oh my god! Oh. How did Whippo die? I blinked. I, I don't know. Don't just know. got tickled in the back. Did he just try to go in with ult and then Vulcan saved Dojo and he died? I actually didn't really catch that. I think he got barrel comboed by impact while he was looking for the engage, but like I actually just wasn't looking at him. Mm. I, uh, I, I, I saw I saw Vulcan eat Vizier. Yeah, 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 same. That's what I was looking at. And then somehow Bwipo was on the ground. <laughs> if you spell shield while in GP ult, will it just like take one tick of it and then give you the, yeah. the passive? Yeah. I guess that would help a D bit. Does it? I think it would only take the big one, wouldn't it? Wait, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it would be really troll. Like I'm imagining your one HP and GP ults you. You press spell shield. It like doesn't consume. It doesn't like eat a a proc of the ult. Yeah, I reason? mean, it's just like a sure. ground dot. They'd be like trying to spell shield a Casio W. Right. I mean, like obviously it's a little different. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't actually know. It comes in like waves. Yeah. I'm not sure. Kenny is trolling his Impact positioning is hard. Vulcan might die here. Wow! Did Core really not ult that? You're you're yeah, joking. That, that was, was that was such a big mistake to that make. That's literally a kill big. right before Baron. It's not even hard to do. What yeah, the hell that was actually that? Yeah, could have been a game winner right there. Big whiff by Core. I don't usually see Core giving 
fucking free lives to enemy team, but like in Enchanter meta, he's been doing it a lot. Oh, baby. Okay, Impact is actually about to have Bjergsen face check him. Oh my god! What the fuck was that oh, wait. damage? I didn't even see that. I was like looking at the Baron. <laughs> what Dude, the he fuck? Just I thought Akali straight, was the assassin. He just straight up one shot Akali. Oh. <gasps> oh. Holy shit, nice oh, dog by I fucking clenched. Yeah. I clenched. Okay. To be fair, it's not a, a normal spot for Impact to be playing. Like, that specific push is like, what the hell? How is GP helping his team do Baron from there? But I think it was a really good read by Impact. But I, still, I think Grigson should have 100%. If he had Sweeper, if he had Trinket, used it. Played a little more carefully there. Oh. I, I think TL's fine. They're not going to lose right here. They're going to probably back off after this and try to get Soul. pretty close really? to losing right here. Looks pretty GG oh. to me. Are they really gonna push for the end? Holy shit. Huh? I mean, unless EG fucks up. Oh, oh, oh my go. god! Hans died again with both thumbs up! What is wrong with this guy? And stopwatch! He got dumb. What even killed him? Was it GP plus Jarvan? I think it was his ear yeah. stabbing him. Mm. Well, his ear was in Tom's mouth. Yes, yeah, it was not his ear. Oh! oh. Get him, Bjergsen! Oh, nice flash oh. by JoJo to get out of there. <laughs> Yeah, that fucking Jeep or uh, Greg Assault. <laughs> Just toss it in the mix. Holy oh. yo, KDA or KP on Jarvan? Let's see it. What was it? Was it 15? They, it they was, had 14 kills total. It was nine. <laughs> uh oh. Every well, we were all ends, fucking wrong. Every game actually ends with Hans dead with sums up. It's actually funny, man. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna carry this game. Double lift would never do that. Yo, I've done it. I've not done it nearly as much as this guy. This guy is like a. I don't know Clueless. what's happening. <clears throat> the AD carries are actually just losing their goddamn minds these days. Wait, let me. Let's check it again. I wanna see. I wanna I'm watch Bjergsen the... get owned in the tri bush. I'm gonna watch Hans end actually... that. Wait, Damn. yeah, so Bjergsen knows he's. Dude. Wait, no. Oh. What the fuck, bro? He just took so much damage. He gets stabbed twice. Danny cues him. No, he gets stabbed three times, actually. Dude, Impact's barrel hit Bjergsen for 1,300, by the way. What the hell? No, dude, and his, his passive. Did you see how much damage his yeah. fucking passive did? It's crazy. I, I really didn't think what? that he would die. Like, Oh my god. It looked like he was like, oh, he's gonna get one HP, right? And then he just died straight up to the passive alone. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Holy moly. Oh, actually, Collector gave, came in clutch there. I, I think it probably... It did some work. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, chat pointed it out, but that was two passive procs, because he autoed him before blowing up the barrel, which gives him another two one. Down. So oh. it was a double passive, but like that still was some fucking damage. I think TL should just go with a fucking meta comp. The meta golem. What's up? To me, it really seems rare that people win with off-meta stuff in playoffs. it's really nice, actually. Off-meta being the... Both Akali and Gragas, or just Akali? I mean, just like, you know, in, in, in the, these, like, metas where it's, you know, like, mage, mid, tank, top, yeah. bruiser, tank, jungler, whatever, like, if you don't pick one of those, you're kind of just, like, missing some shit, right? Like, well, the Akali isn't really a mage. I I think that TL, the only thing that was weird was definitely the Akali. I don't know if you're referring to the Gragas, but Gragas definitely fills the same role. So I, I think Gragas is fine. I, okay. I, I don't mind Gragas. Yeah. But the Akali, I think, was the biggest uh, question yeah. mark for me. Yeah, it, it, it was a bit of a culprit. I feel like um, from the Jinx Lulu's perspective, it is actually easier for you to play with the dive comp. Kind of like we are talking about before. If all of your teammates are going in, it buys you so much space to... Just hit the closest target freely because you're not the focus. But obviously the downside is like now you have to deal with a fucking another super carry on the enemy team and Azir just I don't know. Azir just completely fisted the game open. Like he was doing so much damage. Fisted. Uh, he was so ahead, man. Yeah. 
It's funny, they played that interview of Bjergsen saying, JoJo's not that scary anymore. And then he <laughs> just got completely gapped. I don't think it's going to happen every game. I think that Bjergsen can definitely play a lot better and play a different champ. So, but that was a nice little contrast. I'm going to see the draft, see how we ended up here. Get back to Zillion, kid. Where's the fucking Zillion, man? So they had last pick on mid. Back to Lissandra. Wait, Talia's open. Why is he not playing Talia? I feel like there's no fucking world where Akali is better than Talia here. True. Doesn't is Bjergsen one of those players who's like super fucking scared of Jarvan? Like he does not want to play something immobile versus Jarvan. I think I remember Zix telling me that. Mhm. Mm yeah, he is. I, I think T Talia is like the normal pick you see into his ear. Hmm. Oh, I think he'd be fine with that. I don't. I don't think he'd be like. I can't play Talia versus Jarvan. I just. I'm thinking like. I don't know. Oriana or some shit. Hmm. Yeah, I think that the game would have looked so different if he was on like an actual champ. It just felt like it was four v five, like very low game impact from Bjergs in this one. <gasps> well, that top fight, no matter what champ he's playing, he like EG just had a timing. Like EG just had a five v four timing on top, and if he was walking into that fight with Talia or Victor or any champ. It would have been pretty bad. I think that was a pretty big turning point. It was just like, felt like TL was in control. Two down. Winning the game pretty handily. Top fight happens. The cleanup goes pretty bad for TL. But um, all the momentum just changed right there. And it was just like, maybe TL just doesn't respect EG's timing right there. Well, it's also know. about like the amount of timings you get, right? Like, Talia can cheat timings. Like, she can ult into fights if... True. If Bjergsen's just getting pushed in by his ear and his ear's roaming around all game, like you can't just perma respect the timing. Like you have to play the game eventually. And yeah. if you're never gonna get a timing, it's just fucking unplayable. Lakringa. I feel like everyone on TL is making uncharacteristic mistakes. Like the the core thing where he just like didn't ult was so strange to me. You know, some for me, Core is like that ultimate player who like sees all options, like especially proactive options. He loves to watch LPL and LCK and like play fast. And I think like one of his biggest frustrations probably this season is the game's not that fun and the game's not that fast, and like he feels kind of like restricted. <gasps> He's not having and, fun. Well, I don't think a lot of people are having fun. <laughs> to no! be honest, I didn't. I played two games in the last two weeks. The game is in a, a dog shit state at the highest level. What Not in solo the... game. But like, I don't know. It's just, it, everyone's making uncharacteristic mistakes. Maybe the best performer this entire game was Santorin. I didn't really see him do anything weird. In fact, like his gank timings were just... Starting from the very first one where he and flashed now, the blind Jarvan EQ. He's playing very well. My perspective on this game is actually, I like Tails comp. With the exception of Jax, I think Jax is actually pretty useless champ. Uh, solo Q, Warlord, it, it it almost feels like he's like worse in teamfights than Aurelia, which is crazy to say. But he just doesn't really have any good buttons to teamfight with. Uh, he usually just gets CC'd once, and then he just gets either completely kited or just blown up. Wait, our, uh, guy, our guy is back with the prediction bet. So he says, predict the kills on 80 carries. <clears throat> okay. On both or or what? Uh, total kill of the 80 carries. Okay. So both uh, 80 carries put together. Yeah, 12. both combined. I'm gonna I'm gonna go 12. I'm just 12. gonna I'm gonna say 12. I'll go okay. nine. I'm gonna change my answer to 12. I'll go nine. Okay. So we have 12, 12, and nine. Actually. Yep. I'm just gonna go 12. I actually already picked 12, so you gotta change. Oh, my bad. You did pick it first. Oh, well, you guys can have the same answer, then you both win. Nice. Are we like little fucking five-year-olds at the playground? Like, yesterday I saw a lizard. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, we never go outside, so it's all new to us. No, that's true. 
Imagine going outside in this weather, man. It's oh, so level it's two so hot gang. and stuffy. Oh mm -hmm. shit, Danny Me looks somewhat cuffed. Uh oh. This is their comfort he's actually... zone. Wait, he's actually fine. Wow, he, he got shit on. Oh, never mind. Let's get a game done. We're getting a lot of autos off there. Let's get a sink. Uh, two ten. Dullo's gonna pee in it. Twelve, thirteen. Oh, Medias. I'm like four seconds Fifth. ahead. I'm eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right, I'll, I'll sink with Medias. I'm sinking with Medios. Keep counting Medios. Um, oh God. Holy shit. 26, okay, okay. 27, 28. Oh my God. 30, 31, 32. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Why do you guys find it annoying to count? <laughs> You're fucking stupid. <laughs> well, when I'm doing it, I just need to hear you guys say like two or three numbers and then I'm like, okay, I'm three seconds behind or three seconds ahead, so I'll just pause or speed yeah, up for that amount of time when, when and you then I'm speed saying, up, I remember the, the clock is going at a different fucking cadence, dumbass. So but, it's you hard, but if you put it on two times speed, then it's going at two seconds per second instead of one second per second. Yes. What's happening? Is Danny Did Danny you could have just died there? You could have just died. I'm I guess I'm a fucking dumbass because I don't want to <laughs> count every number under the sun. So our goal is to sync together. Let's make it as hard as possible and not make it it's perfectly It's really synced. hard to do. It's it, really, really it's, hard. Is counting okay, hard? Well, I don't think so. Dude, you know, actually something that really pissed me off was 2019 Worlds. Fucking, we were trying to watch the games together and these dumbasses are like all on different fucking streams. Like some are on Korea, some are on the actual stream. Just all uh -huh. fucking different times, like reacting at different points of the game. I'm just like, bro, can we just sync up and watch the game together? <laughs> and like none of them fucking listen. I was actually so upset. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Sneaky yes. can feel uh, emotions like anger and anger. And it's rare. Potentially even anger. Sneaky, well, he, Sneaky gets triggered by really random things. Yeah, that sure. does make sense. I remember the, the old one was like. He would go on Twitch and then find people who were view botting and just be like the view botting police. He'd be like, "This fucker is view botting." Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, it was actually hilarious. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just, oh my. Oh wait, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh. Wait, yo, that was good. Actual. Damn, solo, solo kill from Whippo actually making you guys eat your words about this Jax pick. <laughs> yes, Jax is so powerful. Love a pick. He's literally getting his fucking <laughs> solo dove under turret power. Oh! Handshake! Holy! Holy shit. That was pretty aggressive. 86 that order, Mr. Krabs. We are going home. Why does Danny and his cam look so bored all of his playoffs? Does he normally look like this? He I actually looks bored. Apparently in the Reddit threads, uh, people are saying that Danny looks like really mad all the time. Yeah, I don't know. Does he? I just remember the the scene where he swatted Vulcan's hand away and I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He's just he's just socially awkward, right? Like he meant to like I I, I took that as he was trying to like acknowledge him and I just Yeah, and it just ended up looking like he was swatting it away, but <laughs> Uh, Impact so could have flashed out here and lived. He was trying to greed and hold his flash and ended up just dying because Wukong was there. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can actually see in the reflection in his eyes, he typed Jungle Gap and he pinged Inspired a few times there. <laughs> wow. Yo, this matchup's actually pretty funny to watch. Jax Ajax. Holy. Wait, why are you saying it like that? <sighs> Oh, like what? <laughs> like Jax versus... Oh, Aatrox versus Jax? Aatrox. Oh, a Aatrox. A it's a Aatrox. Ah, Aatrox. <laughs> oh, 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 my god. Play by nice. EP. Wow, what the fuck Wait, was Vulcan that, Wait, really bro? ignited Hans? Like, like, he's just gonna fucking do 500 damage to him? What the fuck yeah. was that? No way. No, 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 dude, earlier, I'm telling you, like, EG's bot lane walked up to Hans and Kor like they were gonna kill him, and if, if, if Hans double E had hit on Danny, he just, yeah, he I literally that, goes yeah. back into lane and dies again. Like, that is such a troll play to make. Makes no sense. I don't know what's going on with these guys. Wow, Bjergsen. 
EPs there? Huh. I okay, was very down 20 CS in this matchup, by the way. Okay, so Hans is level 5 right now. It wasn't that crazy. He hit 6 just like that, and okay. I they, they, wait, do they even kill him if he's never not get anything. Yeah, there's no, yeah, nothing they're never there. They're never so look at this ignite. Dude, that ignite was so tilled. That, that actually is just troll. <laughs> yeah. There's no world where you fucking kill him there. Yeah. That was wild. Well, actually, that's one kill on the board, so. <clears throat> one uh, of, it's actually uh, only 80 carries, and Seraphine is not an 80 carry, so it's really just uh, uh, Wrong. Well, about which part? One of 12. That's all I'll say. Didn't you vote nine? Yeah, it's for you guys. Ah. And me and Double F are both going to get a thousand subs after this. I'm actually, that'll double my sub count. Wait, oh Biwapo? He's just dead. Biwapo? <laughs> Vulcan's just going to roll up and steal it after that bombing play? Oh my nice. god. Wait. Uh, Hans ulti didn't get too much value there. He's level five to he's level six to five on Danny, just but didn't get Harold. Okay, the fuck. <laughs> there was a lot of action on top side there. It looked like on TL side they wanted to use support move for Harold. On EG's side, Vulcan went top, and that's on Whippa for not respecting that. Like he knows that it's a five v five top side, and he still dies to a support room at that time. It's not obviously anyone's fault. But his. I think Whippo has actually looked like one of the weakest top laners in playoffs. Yeah, he is. I don't know. I All I needed to see was Impact playing Jax against Solo's Orn. And then I realized, wow, this champ is just so outdated. I think Jax is good if he gets ahead, but he's one of those champs that's like not actually very good at getting ahead on his own. Yeah, I yeah. mean, maybe you, uh, you can obviously stomp Solo queue with it. And That's why he's he fancy jungler. Obviously, quite powerful, but this True. is a very different setting. Is JoJo the best mid in this game? Holy! Yo, he's going ten cents per minute with Silas versus Talia. That's probably yeah, not he's, supposed to happen. He's actually gapping Beer quite hard thus far. Somehow. But I don't know. Like TL has actually just looked so bad until like at least game three in all their series so i i guess we just these first two are mulligans and then their real game start <laughs> yeah look at danny's cs by the way that's it that's quite Wait. the performance <laughs> holy fuck what? is fasting jinx good what the fuck what happened know, it's 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 really crazy to no watch this way maybe he thinks he's still playing senna dude he's just not getting any souls dude what is happening with these teams bro both of them are just pooping themselves <laughs> Dude, Whippo is so fucked, man. Like, if you're getting traded with a... You're losing trades while you have a fat as hell wave and getting pushed out. Like, your lane is so over. <laughs> yeah. How do you even come back from this? I feel like when I get autofilled top in solo queue, I turn into this Jax and I'm just fucking out of the game forever. Fucking go bot lane, bro. <laughs> it's your farming. <laughs> it's your whack at the minions under turret. Legit, dude. Like... I would just like gank mid or something at this point. I'm just like, yep, guys, I'm fucked. It is actually a strat though to try to get Aatrox to like not perma freeze on you. Just leave. He's like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah. I mean, I if they're something. freezing, that's what I do. Yeah. You need to like but... mentally prepare for that though. If your land opponent is leaving, you need to actually assess like, is what he's doing good or is he just trying to make me uncomfortable with my freeze and like, you know, I'm giving him what he wants. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it depends how volatile the other lanes are. Yeah. That's why if you're mentally prepared for it and like you're ready I'm to tell full. your teammates, you know, he might roam. Try not to make it spicy. Big like like the thing. game is going to be over if, if he can't get this freeze broken, then pretty pretty. To big. me, this kind of shit just sort of feels wrong. Like when you're just pulling your whole team to try to salvage your fucked up lane. Yeah, oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, unless Impact's yes. just going to fucking hand it over. Wait. I guess I if you do this roam with the mind control combo it's actually pretty good oh my god wow all right that's it next time i'm losing lane i am spam pinging my whole team to come top that's all you need <laughs> there's everybody and their top laner to grief it oh Whoa! not kill there
Well, that was a yep, pretty they, looking they old. Thunder, dude, he's actually saved off that. Literally, yeah, that was totally such a saved. huge mistake by Impact. Granted, it was pretty weird that like they did a shitty gank and then cores in the bush afterwards. I can kind of understand why he would fall for that, but like, holy fuck, that was punishing. <laughs> okay, I trust you. Good. Big money, man. Let's go home and spend that cash. Hit the eyeball, Hans. Why does he not want to hit the eyeball? Oh my! Look at this. Hold up. He's dead, blasting. Dead, 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 dead. Dude, what the fuck are these guys doing? <laughs> Impact's getting the camp, but the thing is that there's no punish from the other side because what the hell did Danny just go Gale Force? Oh, wait, ew. Hmm. Wait, ew. Don't like that. Wait. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Dude, this is actually such a weird... I feel like if... If the top laner and bot laner switch teams, it would just be the biggest stomp of a series you've ever fucking seen. Yeah. I mean, I... I okay, maybe he, he thinks he needs Gale Force because he doesn't have cleanse against Seraphine ulti. I think this is actually like the most tilting situation Impact could be in, like where you're just absolutely stomping your lane, and then their whole team is gangbanging you, and your other side is still just getting <laughs> yeah. shit on. Like it's <laughs> so it's mental, it's actual mental warfare. Like Impact's good tilt. at uh, Impact's good at not tilting though. Yeah, he should though. Teach him a he fucking lesson. He should just tilt. Yeah, that's true. My bad. He just wants to snowball, but just three dudes in a bush waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> Legit permanently. Finds one of them isolated, starts beating the fuck out of him. Oh. Oh, hold up. Inspired's actually getting owned. Oh, nice stopwatch. Oh. This is. Oh. I think oh. this is good for EG. I don't know. Looks Everyone's good for EG. turning golden. Looks good for EG. Oh my god, though. What Wait, the fuck? Oh, is hold it? up. It's the Jack show. Danny? Oh, Gale, Gale Force, Force saved him. In your face. Reset. I actually did do something, but I mean, what if he killed before that? Two for two, that's all we get? Holy shit, man. Yeah, there was so many stopwatches used, dude, that yeah. made the fight so hard to read. Yep. I think I saw Inspired, JoJo, Core, Sir Others. Many of those three. Dude, stopwatch 100% should not be a rune. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. Makes no they're, sense. They're almost going the other way on the... Like, you saw the next patch, they're making stopwatch 750 gold, and, like, the GA and Zonius are going to be more expensive. Yeah, really? then they, they should just take it out as a rune. It's like you're getting like, 750 gold item from a rune. Yeah. Even more value, yeah. Um... I was Let's about see. to say, I, 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 I feel like... Stopwatch. I feel like... Nautilus stopwatch. In these fights... Seraphine is so insanely strong. Like the amount of damage she does, Silence. everything. Yeah, she just casually heals core for three hundred. I'd love to s for them to show the damage charts after that. Oh wow, dude is just dead. Huh. That's three kills. I think this is this one looks like a TL win. I think once you get ahead with Seraphine this yeah. much, it's it's over. Yeah. Plus, Impact went for this laning build, and then legit got taken down at the worst time ever, so he's just, like, behind with this shit now. It's cursed. It's done. Go next. 3 OTL. That's the play? How sure are we that this is the play? Look at how much damage Danny does without- Dude, he actually dragon. has a fucking water it, gun. No, it, it's just... D Jinx? You only need to play Jinx once with Gale and without- or, Sorry, with Kraken and without Kraken to realize that like... Such a huge percentage of her damage is just a Kraken Slayer proc. 
Like you're just a- it's like fucking how Lucian is just a vehicle for Nami to do damage. It feels like Jinx was just made to do- to, to proc Kraken Slayer. Like that's what's carrying her. Yeah, at, at a certain point obviously like ultra late game, I think like just the base damage of like IE and having a bunch of items kicks in, but... No, it's just- it's funny to watch this, cause this- this is- you have to keep in mind. A pretty starved Jax, like he is 13 or 130 CS at 20, and it's taking him that long to die in a 1v4. And he's actually starting to like get resources now. He's got a bounty, yeah, two almost three items. And uh, yeah, I guess the question is, you know, is Danny gonna start doing damage because he built a rapid fire? No. Definitely not. That is <laughs> that is not going to change his damage output at all. He needs literally two more items. So he needs Lord Doms and IE, and I think at that point he will start doing big damage. But uh, the game's probably going to be decided before then. I, I remember one thing I, I really liked about Core is he he had played AD carry so much like in this past. Like he kind of like had a feeling for when I was like what I wanted to do, and so sometimes his call would just be like. I think we just do nothing for 10 minutes. Really? <laughs> Everyone just be happy with doing nothing. And then, you know, because it feels bad when the AD carry says it because it's like, oh my God, you just want us to play passive and like, you just want, you know, you just want to farm for late game. That's so boring and bad. Like that's never going to work. But then when like multiple people call it and especially when a person whose position isn't that role calls it, it like feels like more of a unemotional call. Is it I think a when you're behind, thing though? Like I, like. I feel like it's kind of a troll call though like i would want to at least elaborate on it i would be like let's not force anything but like let's keep like defensive vision here let's well i mean you don't do need to hold your teammates hand on that obviously you're still playing i mean the saying game. do nothing is like yeah it's an exaggeration but it, i it think if you talk about it before fine. yeah if you're like all right if we if we talk about like doing nothing like, it just means like don't force just play back play defensive yeah. then yeah sure but like, it's just saying, it's like I thought you told me to like, do nothing, so I went to the bathroom. <laughs> no, dude. Like in my experience playing on a team, every time, like every time I hear the call, it's just like, yo, like I'm X amount of gold from my X item. Like the the game just goes to shit. It's like everyone's like, okay, I guess we're not doing anything for the next five minutes. I'm gonna go take all the junglers' camps. I'm gonna go push up this lane, and kill myself. Like, <laughs> well, like nothing's mean, actually happening. I, the other team just shows up, five man takes Baron, and we're like, oh. How close are we have, to IE again? If you have smart players on your team, they they interpret that call as how can I buy and make him, the game as annoying as possible, like buy as much time as possible for that to happen, you know. Oh. So you can go for like a wait. Yeah, you can go for like a suicide what is split this? or you, oh, Jojo's in a pretty interesting spot. What are they doing? He's oh wait, he got it. Inspired. He just wait, walked and, up. And they walked up slowly. Down smashed it. Wait, Jojo? Dude, Jojo wants oh the Seraphine god. so oh my god. bad, man. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. It's really he bad for him. He's it's actually really a fucking Pre super follower for Twitter. What Holy the shit, fuck? that missed. Wait, Impact, it lives this? Okay, still e TL gets gets dragged. It feels not worth it. TL gets dragged? To be honest. Sorry, TL gets Baron. What am I saying? Okay. I don't think Inspired I've seen Danny. Ever. They Penta yeah. against this exact team on Baron. <laughs> yeah, Over. is this is this free? Oh wait, it's dying really quick. Never mind. Yeah, they get it. Uh, and uh, dude, Hansama's playing this really well to just like keep his team topped. There was <laughs> a really suspicious smite right there. <laughs> I think Bjerg had smite. Is that what that was? Maybe uh. yeah. Bro, I, I swear the easiest smite steals of my life was that meta. Remember where every top laner was playing like. TP, Smite, like, Hecarim, Shivana, oh. whatever, and going Cinder Hulk. Uh, mm. And, like, people would be like, oh, dude, we've got double Smite. Like, we can't ever miss an objective. But it was so troll, because, like, they would always fuck it up trying to Smite together, and then you would just, like, Smite after the first person does it. Were they, like, reacting off the first wow. Smite? Wow. I, no, I mean, it's just, like, it's not that easy to coordinate. Like, yeah. to do it actually pixel perfect, like, with two different people, like, it's... Like you can see on this one, they try to do it, and it's like there's always a fat delay, long enough Wait, to steal it. What the fuck? What is this replay? I don't really. Showing understand. the Baron. Showing... Like just, just watch. 
Watch this smite. Ready? Yoink. A Jinx auto literally Whoa. hits it between the yeah. smites. Yeah. Yeah. That's Spellbook Smite, actually. Oh, yeah, but they, from... they skipped the fight. They showed, like, half a second of the fight and it went to the oh. bear. <laughs> that was yeah, so yeah, I mean... weird. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was very troll. You're right. All in all, um, I, I think I think EG should be pretty happy with the way things turned out. Like it, it's not easy for TL's team, like that team, to end the game. You could argue that if the game goes ultra late, Seraphine is also like insane scaling, but it feels like TL's advantage if the game goes ultra omega late game. Hmm. The hell? Oh, holy shit! Yeah, let's clear the wave. Ow, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what can EG actually do from here? Like, they... I think at this point, they just have to AFK for 10 minutes while Danny farms. I think you just FF. Um, if you hit escape, it says surrender, so it can be kind of confusing, but it's actually an FF vote. Is that how you guys surrender? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't type slash FF anymore. Really? I, I always type slash FF. I, I've like, got, like, because it's, like, faster to hit escape and then just, like, instantly flick to the surrender button and click it. It's mm. actually faster. Oh, if you remember where the surrender button is, sure. But it's yeah, yeah, no, less like, cathartic. I have it ingrained in my memory. Like, you, <laughs> how monitors can have, like, pixel burn into them. Like, I know exactly where the FF button is on my screen. That's really important as a pro player. <laughs> Never stop giving up. <laughs> it's absolutely critical. God damn, that quote's good. <laughs> it's so funny. Vulcan gets hooked. Oh, wet. Ulti? Actually, huge or not all. Wow, that. Your I can't ults. tell what the fuck's going on. There's more Looks stuff. Like TL's losing. Oh! Looks like TL's losing. Hold up, they have Seraphine. They are kiting. Wait, well, they Seraphine doing Seraphine things? Holy. But can That's if EG true. gets this drag, they just win. Oh, Danny! Oh, no! Hold up, Danny! Danny, no! Flashes up! Bro. Oh, oh, wow! No! Actually, he replayed with the mirror. He's no! actually smurfing. No! No! Oh, no! Whoa! Flashes up again, guys! What's happening? Oof. They don't use flash in these parts. Impact? Trying to get? You can't go in impact. They have Wait, fucking Saint Saint trolling. Centaur's tossing. He is indeed trolling. Wait, Bjergsen, first impact. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, wait, Dude, I feel like... Oh, oh. Kill through Zonius? What is Impact sick. is like confidently running in here. Wait! Oh, wait. oh! Oh! No, he doesn't kill. Oh, and he's gone. Unlucky. Did you see that... Seraphine? Like... No, I didn't see it. It healed him in Zonius. That's oh. fucked up. Isn't it? Oh my oh, goodness, Bjergsen actually just got, got sniped. sniped. He oh. got sniped. How much of a shutdown was that? I don't know. Dude, that actually mattered. That is so weird. Uh, um... But the start of the fight seemed quite interesting. I could yeah. not tell who was winning. There was just too many stopwatches, <laughs> dude. I'm about to see the game. In the game. Okay. Actually, really nice ulti by, by Talia to start it off. Yeah. It and... Kind of zones, Danny. If they had just been okay with that first kill in the beginning, that would have been pretty nice. Inspired flashed in, I think, which was a pretty big mistake. And then now it's like, okay, it's 5v4. We can get dra we can get soul. We can get... Oh. Yeah. Or we can just try 1v5 <laughs> and not flashing the hook. <laughs> or the CW. We save flash around these parts. I think either one's good. Oh, back I mean, he does have it for this Varian fight. He does have it. Oh, that's a secure. No, 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 no steal, Satch. The Talia ult stops Trundle from getting in. From purely a spectator like esports perspective, stopwatch is a good or bad thing for the game. It's good. Like w ju just watching pro play. I think it's mm. skillful. 
I think it's good. I yeah. I mean, I don't think it should be a rune, but I, I like stopwatch. Mm. I like Zonia's. Yeah, because it's a one-time use item. It yeah. I, I'm mostly asking because like in some fights where it's like big, like two team fights this game, there were just so many stopwatches, and I actually feel like it's really fucking hard to follow what's going on. Yeah, but there's fights that are hard to follow regardless. Like if yeah. they're actually close. Then you know it's like oh shit who's winning I don't know but like you know stomp it's like all right like you can stop watch doesn't do anything I don't think really uh -huh. changes it yeah I don't really have a strong opinion one way or another I could see arguments for both mm -hmm. oh, oh my god. god impact not like this. The flash is used. Let's go, Whippo! Oh. Whippo, yeah! The minions are turning on each other. Oh. Whoops, my mic was fucked. Welcome back. Danny just exploded. Danny is dead. Yo, really nice mechanical plays this game. I saw some immaculate farming, some great flash usage. Um, let's keep it up for the next game. Honestly, I'm just happy that the game's kind of the series is going back and forth. <laughs> Wait, we need Hans like to get two more kills for twelve. Oh, get it for Come two. on! Oh, oh, it wait, 10. did I win? Nope, you <laughs> said nine. It was ten. He says plus or minus one margin though. <laughs> oh, all right. I guess think he gets a thousand subs. Unlucky. One million subscribers. So lucky. My food's here. Hold up. I feel like it shouldn't count because Danny was not trying to win uh yeah it's avoided game you know what's like really interesting That's is five. that full-time streaming necessitates that you care what people think about you which has actually legitimately made my life worse because like i i naturally don't give a fuck what people think about me but like because of the nature of the job like you obviously need to take in uh to consideration like what what your viewers like, you know, if they you get positive reinforcement for the stuff they like and care about, like how they feel about you or your content, like matters. That's like one thing that I I think is like a, such a big hurdle to streaming is you actually have to care what other people think about you. Like it's just a part of the job. To an extent, I think that's true. I mean, it I don't is think you need to like true. I mean. Like, like, it's, not, it's not like every Twitch streamer is the exact same, and it's not like every viewer likes every streamer. Like, I think it's fine to just true. sort of be yourself, and just some people will like your stream, some people won't. Just be yourself? I mean, I about. think being genuine is, like, something that people like about streamers, like, makes it feel relatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. it's, it's true to an extent, but I think every every Twitch streamer, like, it's just a slider, but it is, exists for everybody. Even Tyler, yeah. one who like can pretend that he doesn't care at the end of the day, if nobody liked his content and he had 500 viewers instead of 20K, he has to care. Like he obviously has to care. Like the thing is like when you're successful at it, you can, you can essentially just come off like you don't care, but like, because you've already like made it, but, um, yeah, it's pretty. What do, what do people mean by rat race? I don't even know what that is. What is a rat race? That's a reference to Pokemon talking about it. Oh, okay. I'll look it up later. I I think it it kind of comes from intent though, doesn't it? Like, I didn't watch Tyler one too much in the early days, but like, wasn't he kind of similar? Like, he just he's been less toxic, so he doesn't get banned, but. I don't feel like he went into it with like the plan of like, you know, I'm going to act in this certain way because I think this will be really popular and get me a lot of views and that kind of thing. I think he was just kind of himself and like people appreciate it. Oh, wow. That's oh unlucky. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> that's a pretty Damn. interesting level one strat. Holy fuck. I mean, they um, definitely punished him for standing in there. Yeah, he was on a ward. 
You don't think that... I think that if he overtly grew in his popularity because people liked the like ragey toxic part of him and that he intentionally fostered that character because he he got positive reinforcement for it yeah I'm probably right like that is do, his do you brand. not think he was i mean do you think he was like just a super nice dude before and then like just gradually became ragey i think tyler's actually a nice dude I mean, he like, obviously he, ra he like rages at the game, but like I think he's actually a nice guy. When we hang out, like he's not been nothing but just like pleasant and nice yeah, to me. Same for me. Um, but that like, yeah, he plays a character, um, and it, after a while, like it gets pretty blurred, right? Because if you hang out with him in person, like eventually, you know, whatever his fucking real name is, I guess his name is actually Tyler, but. The Tyler one will come out. Like you'll see parts of Tyler one in his real life, but I don't know. I I just think he was definitely influenced by like um, what people liked about that that character that he played. I can see it. What's your what's your total point? I feel like it got lost. <laughs> well, I, I I was just I was my entire point was just like I just think it's interesting. Streaming streaming has like. Uh, like one of the things is like people, you you kind of have to like listen to like what people think about you or like, oh, yeah, pretty much spotted. you have to care about what people think about you, which is <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, okay, so you said that, and the media is like to an extent, but they like kind of kind of lost because like, I think you have to care, but it's only if you're doing something like crazy dumb, like then it's like okay, like their opinion matters because you're doing something that nobody likes, but if some people like it, then. What, how what, how much you have to care about some people not liking what you're doing, you know? No, that's true. That's true. You you don't. I don't. Yeah, you're, I don't you're the master. Agree with everything. You're the, you're a, a fucking. Oh shit! Is Impact dead? No, I think he's okay, right? Maybe. No? I don't know. I can't. Oh, okay. he looks I think he's dead. He's dead. He's pretty dead. fucked. Yeah. Oh, beat his but ass. Like, don't you think at the same time, like, people can kind of tell if. You're the kind of person who just like doesn't really have any of their own opinions. Like you know, they just sort of like copied the most popular thing on Reddit, and like they just want approval of everyone. Like I feel like that kind of reeks of shit too a lot of the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a way to do it. Like well, isn't it kind of the through. same thing that like game developers kind of oh. oh oh solo kill supportal <laughs> combat. Actual, yeah, support of combat. Oh, is Danny is dude, this game is spicy. Been... What the fuck? Danny is just always walking into traps, man. Like, he actually is just perma walking into them. Yeah, whose draft do we like more? Dude, I don't know. This game is this series is like some low quality bullshit. Um. Actually, yeah, I like Tails Draft way more. I'm looking at it. The, the, and Ichi has like the whole trundle into Orn thing, but a lot of times that never seems to matter. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's usually not like a hard counter to the point where like you regret picking Orn. Yeah. What's funny is if uh, Orn, Orn can like break the trundle pillar, but the slow still stays. Mmm. Oh really? I Actually, didn't know, didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. They're like se separately coded, I guess. Mm -hmm. The terrain in this left. Yeah, I don't know. There's a reason why no one plays MF. Although, you know, to give Danny some credit, I, I think MF is pretty good against Jinx. Pretty hard for Jinx to play against MF. Just yeah, the she can get carry e potential of it. Yard. Yeah, the carry potential of, of Jinx Lulu is really high, and on top of that, I feel like perfect. MF sucks against Poppy and Orn. Like she just struggles so much against hard tanks. Hmm. True. Poppy oh. can stop her all. I mean, so can Orn pretty easily. Yeah. Oh yeah. We will see how many buttons are broken. For Danny, though. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't even realize. LEC was on today? Mm-hmm. The fuck? I didn't catch all of it, but I saw some. Apparently, Mad qualified for Worlds without winning a single best of five. Really? <laughs> Wait, really? Wow, Santorin lives that? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> he just fucking walks out with phase rush. Wait, game one was won in under 20 minutes. Really? A fucking 19 minute win. <laughs> People were saying that Mad was the best team in the LEC, right? But they, they got actually curb stomped by Fnatic? Apparently. I only saw game two where like Fnatic lost that one, but upset had like zero deaths. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Uh. That was close. Such a lucky smite. Oh, Danny's getting bullied down here. Can just go tier two, man. Like, you're not gonna base. Yeah. Oh no. Fuck you, Core. Actual monster. I wonder if Danny's actually raging right now. Probably. Recall here? I don't even think he should recall. This is like emotional now. At this yeah. point, he should have just decided to stay because he could get all 10 of these creeps in front of him without getting pressured one bit. Since his support is rushed off a base, it actually kind of wastes Vulcan's time a little bit. Although it's not too bad. Looks like Jungler picks up mid, so it's like same tempo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least nobody. Wow. Or, or at least so like insane. someone on his team got the minions. That's so insane that he lives this. Holy shit, the Guardian shield, the Lulu shield, the Poppy shield. So fast. I didn't even notice the Guardian shield. It just felt like a bunch of fucking bullshit. <laughs> Phase rush, dies of cringe. Oh yeah, that's how people do that shit on Poppy. It's so good. It's kind of fucked up how it's just all of playoffs in the world is going to have no hex flash. No, no, it's going to be fixed for the next patch. Playoffs oh. is stuck on the same patch the whole time to keep it consistent for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks, though. Like, I feel like Hex Flash is such a big part of the game and has been for a while, and to just randomly not have it can, like, completely shift the meta. Yeah. Why are there so many recall cancels right now? What the fuck? It's a tilted, really I guess. fucking active game, I guess, yeah. And this always holes in someone's vision. Like, you don't get your recall canceled if you literally see them. But you're, like, making a guess. Jojo is pretty happy. I, I'm like watching his like last couple minutes. He goes bot and collects 10 creeps, pushes out the next wave, then TP's mid and catches that. He's farming really well. I want to see what it, what it's at. Oh, Danny has flash, but he's probably dead anyways. Oh, the flash poly. I like oh, the flash good poly. Night. I like that flash poly. That was nice. That is actually like such a good way to start the play. Yeah. What if you could flash while polyed? Then it wouldn't be as good. Polly is could be right. Polly is like one of those strangely overpowered things. Yeah. Where it's like it's basically a stun, but like you know, obviously can you can move. But half the time that you're polyed, it doesn't make a single difference. You're not really gonna be juking skill shots. Or like mm -hmm. uh doing anything important. Look at the gold difference on AD carry right now. Down like fifteen CS but down 1,400 gold. What ratio of speeding up to holding for poly would you say Lulu's should have? Oh, yeah, I, just I have no idea. It. I don't think the ratio is really possible because if you're not fighting, then Wing your teammates for speed is good. Yeah. I, it's yeah, funny no, I mean, like, I'm just curious, like, in lane, do you think about it? Like, if the Lulu speeds up her teammates, are you like, oh, fuck, like, he's trolling, like, he won't have his poly, let's go on him kind of I, deal? I mean, in lane, it's kind of weird to use it like that. Use, using it in lane as a speed up, actually, most of the time, doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah. It's only good if, like, you're literally chasing him down the lane, but... Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of what I'm wondering about, because... Early, early for I sure, usually the play... W is not, like, a good speed up tool. It's more of a poly. Yeah. I play champs yeah. that get cocked by that poly really hard. So like yeah. in team fights, if I see them speed up the AD carry, I'm kind of happy. Mm -hmm. I guess a thought experiment is that if Lulu's W didn't oh. would, wouldn't I'm able to speed up teammates, Danny just oh, solo killed. Oh my, my lucky bro! No. 
This is Assassin Orn in the bush? What can be done? What, what can actually be done? Fuck. How how exactly did Danny blow his flash and die without Whippo needing to use his own? He probably just know. got caught from the bush. That's only only explanation. But like he must have got caught real bad. Like giga caught. Yeah, yeah. He for sure like face checked the bush or like walked up to the wave without considering the bush, which is pretty fucking strange considering he saw the enemy bot lane top so like he must know okay well enemy bot lane's top where is orn probably mm -hmm. in my face and orn solo kills 80 carries for oh sorry i silly me silly me he had no not. idea what was there i gave him the benefit of the doubt that what his play was even close to human i'm sorry wow to be fair whippo did fuck him hard there <laughs> yeah, that was so unexpected, forehead. Yeah, my bad. I mean, my it's bad. troll. Oh my I, God. I gave Danny troll benefit of the buddy. doubt because it happened off screen. I was like, surely Bwipo did something good. Nope. Well, he did, but. I'm just saying, I didn't think Danny. Orn would do that much damage. It, it did a lot, yeah. Yeah. Be back one sec. Dude, I want to yeah, see Danny Inspired. I want to see Inspired's a uh, post game interview if they lose this. I would love to hear his thoughts. Oh no. This is actually, by the way, his former AD carry on Sama. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Yeah, they were on Rogue together. Okay. Interesting. And I mean, there's there's impact top lane too, right? Yeah. TL's former top. Yeah. Well, I just think it's funny if like he plays in LCS and in his first year, he gets knocked out of Worlds by like the AD carry that he I don't know if he left them behind or they like, you know, just mutually. Dude, look at this fight in the pit. Danny's actually tickling Whippo. <laughs> well, MF's not a champ. <laughs> MF's not a champ. Ezreal way. doesn't really seem like a champ. Um... Oh. So in, in solo queue, I've seen MF a decent amount doing like Eclipse, Mirror Manit type builds. Yeah, yeah, Comet yeah. Like a lot that. of the time. Is that... I like that a just lot. Just like a, a solo queue, I'm auto filled AD carry and don't want to feed kind of build, or is that you think Danny should be doing something like that? No, no, I really like that build. Um, you know, it actually doesn't even scale that bad. I, I guess. To, to so, so it doesn't sound so troll. The crit build scales better if you're auto attacking the whole fight, but you never really are. And it's yeah. so hard to do that with that the other build realistically is going to make you do more damage. Check this out right here. So that ulti, you know, it does a little more if he has the other build, but then... Dude, yeah. Beard got fucking owned. I don't think he was trying to jump in the pit. I think I was like... No, he just click or something. To. I'm watching the epic battle in pit right now. It's actually funny. Yeah. I wonder if he was trying to jump off either. So, like, dude, Talia ult, especially after the change, is weird. Like, the timing on jumping off is different from before. I've, I, granted, I don't play her a lot, and like you obviously can do it correctly, but like, I was fucking that shit up a lot. It feels so weird that EG is up this game, like. My, my sense of like who is ahead and who's getting more gold is totally wrong. Yeah. It, like it's it has super odd. It has felt ever since TL got Harold that they were the ones in control. Yeah. But w what is leading to this? Like just all turrets lost. They were way up in kills. It feels like they have pressure in the lanes. But somehow EG is just running the map. Oh, this is looking good for TL right here. Oh, boom. Holy shit. I thought Santorum would go there. Inspired had no flash. That, that's not a kill. I'm surprised. He got his Trundle ult off, so he's really tanky. But I think Santorum could have tried, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was wall he... stun, ulti, and fucking Jinx goes to town. But yeah, could be could be bad. I don't know. I think if, if he could get the stun, I wasn't sure if he had the angle for the stun. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Mark. not for sure. It, building glass cannon is uh, better than ever. 
And I feel that. Nothing scarier than playing against a somewhat scaling champ who's just building pure damage. Glass cannon? What about ass cannon? Very I, good, Sneaky. Very I'm about good. to go unleash the ass cannon after this game. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like start drinking coffee during the stream or like how come you're always launching your nukes <laughs> midstream? Oh, I, I, I do start drinking coffee midstream. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, dude, for me, it's like beforehand. Dude, I see, I see. It's like m my daily ritual is like I, I wake up, take my dog out, feed her, and then like get my coffee and like a bagel or something. Dude, I legit woke up at 1230 today. Like I, I woke up. Brushed my teeth and turned on the stream like I was so fucking behind. <laughs> Wokeage. You, you know, Midas, you talked about like coffee making you poop and stuff, but like I, I told you before, like I, I, I don't poop based on fucking drinking coffee. Like I've never associated really? it with it or done Dude, it. For me, it's always like 20 minutes after my first sip. It's like fucking yeah, it's time to lose five me. pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> time to drop a baby into the toilet. Give birth. <laughs> I'm having contractions. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking water broke. Impact is on the flank. Oh. And this. Oh, I looks think this is too early. Too the early. Dragon's not yeah. actually low. If the dragon the team is low, this would be the good. The team that is tanking dragon is usually at a pretty big disadvantage. I think could be a mistake to. to be doing this. Looks pretty dead. Wow. And he's oh, it. Oh, he's with the steel. Oh, wow. Going. What could my die? This yeah. MF ult actually. Bjergsen's yeah. getting shit on. Bjergsen's 1 HP, did you see that? At the very, yeah. very edge of the fight, he's 1 HP. He I mean, he's getting tickled. He actually walked back into MF ult. Yeah, MF ult is so OP at uh, drag fights. Like, it is such a fucking good team fight ability. Same shit with Orn. It just takes up the whole river. How can you play against that shit? Dude, Inspired's actually getting some nice steals. No, he is. That's, that's like probably the second time I've seen him do that exact play where he just walks up to the dragon, flash smites it. From Didn't Santorin steal one from Inspired earlier too? Maybe, maybe. Maybe it was the last series. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't I, noticed I one drone getting twice. like... Hmm. Oh, Great yeah, movement by Jojo. This little steal. Oh, wow. Oh, that did not even look like he'd be dead. Crazy. Yeah. 1100? Oh my god, Vulcan walked into the traps, which then made him a really easy target for getting Talia comboed there. Oh. Bjerg's just literally sitting in the hole. <laughs> he refuses to move out. <laughs> yeah. It's really Hector hard to not see it. Smelting him. JoJo's really lucky that he lived that. Like, he actually got hit by a pretty massive wombo. Talia W and Orn E. It just happened to overlap, so there was only value on one of them. And if it was only Talia's W and he got pulled back... Because the, Orn, the Orny actually knocked him up while he was getting pulled back and like made him stay in place. I think Jojo dies there, and then maybe Hans can clean up the fight. Holy shit, Hans is ahead of literally an entire IE. Yeah. What an absolute fucking legend. White strong. Alright. Thoughts on lethal tempo MF? Why Whoa! or why not? Oh. Nah. You don't get enough Why not? autos to make use of it. Like a lot of times you're just playing for your ult and like trying to stay in position and like you'll hit sometimes, but it won't ever really be. Like, How does your Q work with chain. lethal tempo stacks? Like would you get two stacks if you Q and it bounces to someone else? That does seem to be how MF's Q works. You it would, yeah. Q autos for most stuff. What I really, like a trick I always like to show my chat is like if you have rapid fire in MF, you get to Q auto with the rapid fire uh, proc. And like when you Q, it doesn't consume it yet. So you actually do get like the 700 range Q auto. It's pretty yeah. cool. It's kind of useless, but like you would, you would pretty much never go rapid fire on MF, even if you're going crit build, but it's kind of cool. Kind of sweet. Doesn't sound that bad to me. Well, what's, is it just like you rather have the pen like collector type things? Yeah, it's like you just go like all damage items, uh, like flat AD items. You go like BT, and then maybe last item you can do the rapid fire though. Like for him, he's gonna go IE next, and then I would probably just buy BT because it's pretty OP item on MF. 
Yeah. Maybe last sense. item you can go rapid fire though. Um, you don't care about having a Merc Sim. One thing I've always wondered is like how Jin would do in in games like this. Jin's like Jin and Zyra Khan are like the two picks that I always fall back on when I'm like, it feels like AD carry is kind of weak, <laughs> and like. I'm not saying that Jinx specifically looks weak, but I think like after the first tier of 80 carries are down, nothing looks particularly great. Maybe Jin actually would suck balls against double tanks, so never mind. Bad idea. <laughs> but I'd still be good. interested to see it. I think like with an Azir or someone who can take out front lines, it wouldn't yeah. be the worst shit ever. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Whoa, this ulti, this ulti! Oh. Really big combo. And they flash out. Big, big combo. Dude, they, wait, Hans is dead. Hans is dead, he's in the middle of nowhere. Oh, holy shit, this is fucking clean up. Three oh. man Talia W again. Woo. Pearson actually is yeah, hitting actually, so many Pearson of these. saved everyone right with that. Actually. Holy shit. Actually. Actually, Mon. <laughs> Damn, yo, if EG gets Poppy... Oh, okay. No, hmm. they should focus Pr Probably here. still they better for TL drag. if it's only two kills, but... Uh, I think that. I think if they lose Infernal Drag off that, it's probably better overall for EG. Yeah. Six percent ADAP yeah, is true. pretty insane. I think you also have to look at sums because fucking I didn't realize this. Hans actually flashed and stopwatched and died anyways. Wait. At that point, you might as well just not have used anything. I know that's like yeah. kind of cringe because AD carries are perma dying with flash up in this series, but he must have been so out of position if he died with using all sums and stopwatch. Yeah, I would need to see that again. Maybe it was like a trundle pillar because I saw Inspired was on him, like just beating his head in. Yeah, he was getting owned. How does let's Inspired see. always end up doing crazy plays around Baron? Yeah, let's just see it. So He's they're so walled random off. and crazy XD. I, I, I like how Inspired and JoJo go around here instead of like waiting. Wow, Boipo got knocked up by Baron. <laughs> That's so unlucky. Wait, how the hell does TL lose this? Wipo's E gets knocked up by Aatrox right there. And dude, oh. Jojo is ulted out of the fight. They're winning this 4v5. Oh, wait, you're right. Yo, he gets ulted out and TP's in. I didn't catch that at all. Wait, <laughs> actually big poppy ult. Wait, EG <laughs> wins this fight basically 4v5. But Jojo dude, is doing his first damage right now. Yeah. That's actually like MF diff right there. Like, I think only MF. Yeah actually wins this fight because like and i've got yeah. jinx's flash fucking yeah it was made her it yeah, yeah i mean it was it a damage tl yeah. went through the choke which generally is not a good idea but like i i do think it was a bigger punish than normal like it, it yeah. didn't look that bad for tl going into it victor's out of the fight trundles way zoned it's like a 5v3 all, all hans had to do there was probably stopwatch and not flash but i totally understand why he would flash immediately mm-hmm yeah, just stop just... watching would have been better. Tank the metal. It's so crazy the way that it's so crazy the way that Danny lived. Aatrox Q interrupted Bwipo's E, which would have knocked him up. Like that's Oh fucked. really? Yeah. Damn. Because nice. I'm sure right there was like MF 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 don't flash, MF don't flash. And like he's literally about to fucking collide into the wall with his E. And it gets it's it's impact hero play. I bet Impact likes going Gore Drinker better than Eclipse. Yeah, I would too. Makes sense. Same. <laughs> That's a good choice, Impact. We like that. One thing I really have realized about Gore Drinker, though, is it feels kind of all or nothing, where, like, you either get that low HP Gore Drinker off on, like, three people, or <laughs> you just die, because, like, you're actually not that tanky. You just have a lot of, like, sustain baked in that you need to get in position to use. So I mean I, I understand I mean, I why the other builds still totally tankier fine, than anything else, right? Like it's not like if you're if you're dying without getting a gore drinker off and like eclipse, you're giga dying. <laughs> uh yeah, that's true. That's a trade off. Damage, damage potential versus um. Oh, but, I mean, is impact dead? He has flash, but he's actually getting cut he off pretty ult. quickly here. Should be fine. Ooh. I'd be real surprised if he actually dies. Ooh, he's e I got mean, okay, he's playing it as bad as possible. War drinker. Hansama is in the worst spot in the world. Oh, Hansama is in the worst spot in the world. EG? How is this good for EG? Oh wait, it's not wait, good it's for not EG. Good for oh. Okay. Wow. The fuck? Damn, Jojo got wait, shit What the on. fuck is going on with Danny? Whoa, we huh? Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's good save. 
Cut the tape. Cut the tape. Never mind. Hansoma had GA. It was chilling. It was chilling. Dude, huh. Impact spoke played too that like such a troll, man. Like he was, he greeted his ult, he greeted his flash, and he eat into the ground. That was <laughs> so fucking troll. Is this a end angle or no? 18 seconds? Maybe not. It's probably I next. It, it could be Nexus turrets though. Like this could actually be Nexus turrets if they 10, 12 seconds on JoJo. It, it looks I like they could get they a little do. bit. Damn, that they're would be real greedy. Yeah, I guess maybe not. They would only get one at most and actually Wait, grief so their tempo a little bit. What did JoJo die to? Um, Let's see it again. Yeah, yeah can like we get a replay? Oh, thanks, Sneaky. There you go. So, yo, watch watch how Impact plays this. Yeah. He eased the Yeah, w. no, he, he, he griefed, like, Doesn't obviously. Flash. But then, but then Hans is kind of in a really terrible spot. He's literally pinched against Yo, MF ulti Whippo pillar. Ult. Okay, let's let's watch JoJo now, because he is the he's the key. Oh my god, he had he's flash in the up. Bouncy house. He had flash up there. Are you serious? Oh. oh, oh, oh Yo, did, did you see Whip, Whippo did the Orn thing where you just oh, like R into the wall and don't hit it? Nope. Yeah, I saw that. That's like the fourth time we've seen that these playoffs so far. Oh, oh shit, he's a goner. Pearson keeps hitting three-man Talia Ws. It's fucking over. Jinx is looking so fucking good in these games, man. Well, when Hans plays it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks so good when it's winning. When Hans is playing it. When Hans is playing it, it looks good, yeah. Specifically. Wait, yeah. was Jinx in game one? Well, no, but Joe, or Danny played it against Seraphine last game, and he was like 40 CS down and mm. built Gale Force. The use, the use. I think. What did he play game one? Hans? Game one, he played Jinx. Oh, blur, man. He played Jinx, uh, Lulu versus Senna TK. It was Let not. Me just say he didn't play Jinx in game one? Now I'm confused. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I don't know. I was thinking about game two, and then I was like recollecting that. He did play Jinx in game Old yeah, men try to recount what happened less Jinx than an hour ago. Jinx has been in every game so far. Yes. Hans played it. You are played correct. It. Hans played it. <laughs> Fuck you, Medios. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking like remember Medios. either. <laughs> Not looking good for evil geniuses. I really feel like you shouldn't give TL Orn. Because I think it's the only champ Whippo will like play like a human on. True. Impacts are making a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes in sideline though. Yeah, that's true. Impact's actually been playing kind of bad. Even since the first GP game, um, he was getting caught at weird times. And This is just not Impact's finest playoffs. That's pretty much it. He, he usually plays amazing in playoffs. Yeah. He's such a clutch player, but... I mean, I, I, didn't you mention it the other day about oh. how, like... He, maybe he has to play champs that he would rather not play. Like I think he'd rather be on like the supportive t type stuff, but because Danny's oh, not playing yeah. hard carries, Impact has to play more of a carry role. Yeah, that's actually true. If you play or an MF, like you might lack damage. Although with with Victor mid, I could see it being good. I don't fucking know. Yeah, maybe I, not this game, but a lot of the games they were early picking Seraphine and stuff. Yeah, I I, I think like it can't be understated like how much an invisible effect everyone's having on each other, because you just have no idea what the team dynamic really is on fucking EG. My god. EG, EG kind of got MSI cursed. Every time a team comes back from MSI, they're not the same. They've experienced the horrors of war, AKA international competition, <laughs> and they're, they're getting PTSD, man. Okay, it's it's shock. actually <laughs> true. I mean, that's normally true, but it doesn't apply here. <laughs> <laughs> really? You don't, think, you don't think you don't you don't think that they've come place. back and not look the same? No, they were first EG. place in the season. The MSI curse is like you come back and you're immediately trash. 
Yeah. This is not the MSI curse. This is dude. This I don't know. I feel like teams worse. just have like. I think it's just a psychological thing. It's like really hard to be good for two, like so long as a team that like every team's gonna have like you know ups and downs, and you just need to like spike at the right time. Yeah. Like if, if you're too good, like a month before playoffs, you're so fucked going into playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Whereas if you're, if you're like always. shitting the bed two weeks before playoffs, you're kind of in the sweet spot. Uh, 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 yeah, okay. It's like enough time to get your shit together to be like, oh, guys, like we fucking suck. And then have people be like, yeah, you know, fuck it. Like we really got to rally here. What First people who are just... winning, they're, they're like, they're oh, thinking they're on top of the world. They're like, dude, we're shit on everyone. We're so good, man. I'm going to start playing casting in top. Like this shit's so good. We can't lose. And then they start losing it. Like, oh, God. What if you're playing just... top, man? He's like, dude, it's not. Kesson top's not what we're losing. <laughs> okay, so I mean, way... if you're getting cocky, yeah. You do you the way potential. my sports psych like, talked about that peaking stuff, though, is, um, you know, one thing he said was, if you're, it, it, if you think that you're giving it your 110 percent at all times, you're actually not, because you like. Mm. You know, as a concept, you can only ever give your 110% or like go past what like you normally can for Even a short further time. Beyond. Yeah, like actually true, right? Like you can't just always be pushing yourself beyond your limits like at all times because that's not unless you're good. Like, by definition, that just like wouldn't be possible. Um, so yeah, I, I I think peaking at the right time. That's what Blabber said, right? He said I'm peaking at the right time 22. after they their series yesterday. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. It does true. matter a lot. Like how you can influence that or control that obviously is like up to a whole shit ton of factors, but probably number one among them is like team environment. If like shit starts going sour and your entire team seems like they hate each other and are turning on each other, like you're probably not going to be hitting your peak performance in playoffs. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I feel like every team goes through that, maybe not to the extreme, but like maybe it's been different for you guys, but I feel like that happens to every team I've been on or seen. Like, just like you'll have good weeks followed by bad weeks. Yeah. And it's like yeah. when you're losing, it's easier to improve. And when you're winning, people get complacent AF. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I was saying it's not as like black and white. Like if you're going to lose early, then you're guaranteed going to get stronger kind of thing. Or like the opposite, oh, yeah. like you're yeah, winning, you're not guaranteed going to get worse by winning. Yeah, I, I, I think mean, like tr I think like trust between your teammates matters so much because I'll always remember this time where I was going out for hot pot with Core and Jensen. So it was like after a another day of scrims where we went 0 and 5. Uh, <laughs> it was right before playoffs, and we're about to go get dinner and hot pot. Like it's pretty nice because even though we're going 0 and 5 in scrims, like we don't dislike each other at all. We we just know that like you know everyone's trying to work on their own stuff. We're trying to get better, and uh, Core is asking Jensen aren't you nervous? Like, we're losing every scrim. And Jensen's like, nah, I think we're stage players. We should be good. <laughs> and, like, he he said it in a way that was just, like, it was, like, so chill. Like, he was just, like, so cool with going on five in scrims every day. And it, it was, like, it actually gave me confidence. Like, I was, like, holy shit. I, 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 I think I'm a playoffs. Like, I'm a stage performer, right? Like, but I don't. Like, sometimes I get, like, pretty affected by oh, practice. Oh, yeah. I mean, scrims can ruin your morale for a while. Yeah, 100%. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, well, if Jensen is having, like, a, a positive attitude about this, the scrims, then I, I guess, like, you know, all of us should probably, like, we could feel a little better about it. So, yeah. We, we did end up Big going on to win energy. the playoffs. Giga Chad Jensen. Yeah. Good vibes. I could totally see an, a, like a different team where like you got to dinner with like a couple of people and they start shit talking. They like start talking shit about people who aren't there. Like, man, I can't believe it, man. Like, oh, uh -huh. blah blah blah. I can't fix X Y Z. And then you just it's just the team is like split. Yeah, that that that's trash. Just, like making a rift within the team. Yeah, hundred percent. It's to all who, homies who the everywhere. It was it was Xmithy and Impact who weren't there, and like uh, we we did not say yeah there was never a divide on the team it's nice the one thing that people set, tend to overlook is people with like long careers like the people on tl like consistently getting high placements does not mean that like teams like eg can't 
they can't like win LCS, right? They won spring, they 3-0'd like really dominating fashion, crazy plays. But EG's not that consistent. Perfect. Um, because they're a new team and they have some younger players. Yeah. So I I, yeah, I feel so. like it it's not that crazy to think about that this this TL team can like clutch up in playoffs. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> so did EU just never evolve past the Stone Age? Like they're just all cavemen? Yep. Fucking knew yeah. it. Man. That's why they don't brush their teeth. Oh, I see. And that's why their food is garbage. <laughs> Oh, actually, wow. that part is... as a European, <laughs> I'm deeply offensed right now. <laughs> oh, I see. So the orcs in the Warcraft universe were based on Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm learning so much about history. <laughs> it's a true story. They give us love. I'll be back when I go to the bathroom. They give us lessons in. Well, first pick Trundle. I guess it's your band. Like, this is the Eleven. same draft as game one, pretty much. Except, TL band is here. What is CG gonna play? Send a Tom? I'm they go actually have to just triple ban two things that the, they just can't play and one targeted ban in a mid laner. So they just have no flexibility. That's such a bad spot to be in draft wise. Yeah, I'm not very hopeful. Like, if somehow EG wins this series, I'm not very hopeful for their Line future. Line pick gangplank, no fucking shot, really. No fucking Is that real? short. Surely he has some bad fucking matchups. Jace, Jace's ass right now. Hans plays Draven, but he plays it as a counter. He doesn't blind. He may have blinded it once, but I, I don't know, dude. Him on Jinx has looked insane. Like, it, Jinx actually looks so good. Dude, this is actually EG's strat. They're like, okay, Teal can only win with Ornn, right? But we uh -huh. can't afford to ban it. So I'm going to pick something that there's no way he'll justify picking Ornn into. He's going to go <laughs> Rengar or some shit, like try to cheese him and just... <laughs> They're like, yeah, that's our that's our hope. Our boy Bwipo will fucking give us a freebie. <laughs> I like the logic. Now if you're EG, you have the chance to ban Orn to really guarantee they don't pick it. Which I honestly think they should. Even though they might say GP's a good matchup into it, I really just... I know, man, Bwipo likes going in. Orn can't really go in too far and kill himself very easily. Dude, I refuse to believe the logic of... Danny can't play Sivir. I, I think there's something with draft that well, they're, they're afraid of. I, I, I think I, they're scared of Draven or something, but they can't ban it. Yeah, I, I think either you or Double have mentioned it the other day, but it's probably like just the Sivir matchups that they can't play. Because I have this memory of Danny playing Sivir against a Twitch, and he's just like getting ran down and having to like flash out all game. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's just like, dude, I, I can't fucking blind Sivir. Like, they'll Twitch us. And then the team's like, all right, we'll just leave Sivir up and we'll Twitch them if they pick Sivir. He's like, nah, I don't like Twitch. Yeah, I mean, that's very real. Awkward. Yeah. I, I would totally believe that over like him being incapable of playing it. I don't I don't think I don't think TL should Orn here. There's no way Boypo is saying pick me Orn. He's like, man, we got one more loss. We can tank. Give me. Oh, he's doing it. He's so humble, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> Into GP and Trundle. Holy fuck. He's truly transcended. He's literally, he wants it so bad. Wow, EG actually let it go. Whip will resist the urge to pick some troll shit to counter pick GP. What a team player. Wow, they went, actually went barred? Don't think that's very good, but I guess we'll see. Oh, and ironically, I think Braum would be what you need here. Actually, so Giga.
All right, well, draft-wise, I would take TL's comp uh, about 99 out of 100 times. EG's isn't horrible, but like... I don't know. I don't know. I just straight up do not know. I don't know, like, do they even have follow-up CC for a Bard ult? Usually Bard ulting in a mobile carry matters if they're, like, you're gonna get chain CC'd out of it. This, they... Victor W is pretty good, like GP ult, Trundle Pillar, MF ult. They have decent stuff, but like nothing you can't flash out of. This is surely this is not a dive. That's actually a dive? Holy shit. That was well played. They got two Wukongs beating... I guess it was a 4v2 dive with the Wukong clone. Yo, I'm back with the coffee, dude. Yo, what dude, up? welcome back, man. Thanks for telling me you were leaving. I totally wasn't talking to myself <clears> for like <throat> 10 minutes. Oh, well, I did actually. I guess you must have. Fucking missed it, eh? No, I mean, I don't really listen to anything you say, so... Oh. Well, that works. Wait, who died? Danny. Just got dove. Straight Danny up. Danny G. Holy... Fuck. Oh, I guess. Look at this, just straight up on a on a big wave. Full HP. Boss champ. Oh wow. But wait, they, they flash Vulcan stun. Huh. Oh wow, Vulcan could have ignited core and actually got one back. That was pretty risky. But it worked. It was, yeah. I, I was kind of surprised that worked. They somehow managed oh, shit, to get I'm through back. APMF. Yo, welcome back, dude. Oh, wait, he does a Doran's cock ring. Holy shit. I is actually that, fucking did not that realize how it was. I always thought it was like on the finger, but huh. You ever think how Doran makes the craziest fucking sex toys? Jesus Christ. Like, what's he doing in there? Doran's I don't know, dildo. Man, Doran's cock ring. Doran's shield. I, it's like a nipple I cover. I guess I wasn't what? interpreting those things correctly. <laughs> I guess Sneaky is a different take on Doran's items than we do. Dude, I feel like they should make Doran a champion in League. That, Thoughts? I mean, that, that would literally be the final champ that they would ever make. Why? Because he's just such a legend. He's literally the True. fucking creator Yo, of Doran's items. He's actually doing Emax MF with Comet. Just as we prophesized. Just as we prophesized. This is absolutely insane. Danny's champion pool is just... Crazy. He can do Emac Comet MF. He can do Kraken Slayer MF. He might even be able to play Arcade Misfortune soon, dude. If there's a game dude. five, okay, Doran, okay. The, Doran the Champ. That actually sounds so lit. <laughs> okay, here's my idea for Doran the Champ. He like he can go either a tank, AP, or AD build. And the way you you buy items on him is he can only buy <laughs> like Doran blades or rings or shields, but they stack. So you can just like buy 30 D blades as as Doran. That would actually be like a different and like kind of cool idea for a champ. Granted, like it'd probably be super cool. imbalanced because it's a new champ, but conceptually, I, I feel like it would kind of would kind of be sick. I just like my original idea of Doggy, the magical dog, and he can attach to his teammates. Okay, Ooh. dude. And heal them, speed them up, and then give them a lick. For give a heal. Him a lick. Yeah. Have a conversa a serious conversation with double lift challenge Dude, impossible. His Q is like a tennis ball that you can like control with your mouse. Holy, Holy shit. shit, that would be insane. Oh my the god. <laughs> no, nah, but like be so cool. <laughs> the cat's I saw first this... dogs in the bot lane. <laughs> I saw this so <laughs> troll. There, there's a cursed image of like uh, a fake item that's I think the name of it is like 30 Doran's Blades or something, and it's just oh, like yeah, I saw a bunch of... Well, wasn't that like an April Fool's thing? Or was it? I don't know. I just I thought it was an April funny. Fool's thing. Continue the sentence on the... I've seen the pic, I just don't remember it. It, it. It's just like, that's an item that I think Doran should be able to buy. The 30 bladed Doran Blade? 30 absolutely cursed ball of Doran's Ooh. Blades. That was good flash timing by Bjergsen there. He waited till Core CC'd. Inspired so he couldn't immediately follow flash. Wait. Oh! That was kind of bigger. 
Oh, that was kind of hot. Two master. The one barrel to win it all. Do it. Give it to him. Nah, that's when you got to put a barrel right on his head and you're just like going for the reaction time test. Who can hit it first? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's legit the equivalent of like laying your dick on the table, being like, mine's bigger. Mm hmm. Oh, core. And Nautilus hook. Oh? Chunky. Hold up, that's actually chunking. Chunky, chunky. Uh oh. Nice try, bite, EG. He got a splash. Holy nice shit, inspired. Dodge inspired. Dodge. Dude, nice that run. awareness is actually, like, pretty good. <laughs> okay, I found the pick. <laughs> it's like, new mythic item, question mark? There's just like 30 Doran's Blade on the bottom. The item's called, mm -hmm. like, 30 Doran's Blades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can make that Doran's actual concept. <laughs> Uh, Wait, oh my Sand god. Oh, oh no. Santorin didn't see Vulcan over the wall. Guardian and the stun definitely saved him there. A little on the optimistic side. Here you go, chat. <laughs> the quote on the item is, holy shit, in quotes, enemy team probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh -huh. show me, let me see. <laughs> That's good, show me, show me. Busted. Do I have to be subscribed to see this? Nope, it's oh, this. Oh yeah, this is such a cursed image. 90% <laughs> life shield. 240 AD. I would totally buy this, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> I mean, 2400 health is pretty good. I feel like Riot intentionally... Here's my tin hat theory. I think Riot intentionally sandbagged Nexus Blitz. I think it was way more fun the first time it was out. And then the second time that came out, they intentionally made it less fun to make people not like it as much. Why? To not overtake take Summoner's Rift? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Oh? Wait, Bjergsen has no flash. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Oh, Jojo also no flash. Uh, oh wow, he is just getting... <laughs> come, he's getting Cirque, unlocked. Cirque de Soleil. Holy moly. I never actually played the first version of Next is what was different. It was really fun. It feels like Riot doesn't want to put that much emphasis on those because they've always said they want the main game to be Summoner's Rift, which, uh, you know, somewhat controversial. It's kind of weird. Sometimes your game can just evolve past just its normal game. You let it. Yeah. Fucking like Roblox, Minecraft, like. After this played for the the base game of the content, like there's so much more than that. I think they probably, if I had to guess, like they know that obviously, like League and Dota and all these games or tower defenses or spinoffs of another game, but like there must be some sort of problem with it. I don't know what it is. Just Development resources, that, like, maybe. Warcraft three, like it's it's why in Warcraft three Reforged they have some like thing in the map editor where it's like you know, Blizzard owns the rights to like anything you make basically, <laughs> but they didn't have that before and now like you can see like so many games and genres branched out from Warcraft three, level editor which like in my mind is like I think that's a great thing like why not more games but obviously them looking at it from a strictly, financial Business. standpoint they're like yeah we don't make money. I don't. I, I just them, don't think, I want the money. I don't think that applies to Riot since no one's really. I mean, not a lot of people are asking for them to make a custom game editor. People just want Riot to put more effort into this with other game modes like Nexus Splits. Yeah, and it does feel different. I'm sure, yeah. if they had a, really a custom game editor, though, it'd be like popular as fuck. Like, yeah, I don't be. people are begging for it because Riot's just pretty blatantly like no, but it'd still be cool. Yeah, you have, like fucking Blitz Wars instead of Pudge Wars. Fucking I mean, you could do so many things. Like, League is GP so popular, you would see like the most creative shit ever. Yeah. But, I mean, I can understand why Riot would want to not have it. I'm also curious, like, how many people actually... They, they put an effort into the other game modes, like the Blood Moon... The Dark Star Thresh dodgeball, the like Ascension, 
uh, what is the latest ones? Ultimate Spellbook. Like, they put an effort into these things, right? And, like, I, I wonder, like, what's the benefit for them? Like, how many people are actually playing it? Like, are they getting new players? Hold on. Hold that thought. Oh, so sick. Oh, so sick. Wait, Jojo Flash, man. Dude, Dude. I mean, he was locked down for... I think he could have Pretty flashed. much most of that. I want them to show the replay. I, I think he had time before he got hit by Talia's W. Yeah, there, there's a little gap, but there's, people was I, I thought behind he looked him, fucked, though. But yeah, I need to see it again. I don't know. I would be mashing it right there. I mean, he got an auto assault that he's going to get chained into Talia ulti. It looks like he had time. He just... People are... EG's been playing pretty poorly around Talia W. Riot has a lot to owe to like Dota, because like obviously Dota is the the MOBA that made the genre popular. Oh, oh. Holy shit! Again, I feel like I've seen this twenty times so far. <laughs> I know he's always thinking about Jinx. Those are all just solo cooldown, dude. If you ever stop thinking about it, you just get fucking hit by it. Yeah, I love seeing jungle camps with it, like seeing like Raptors in red and stuff. I love when that happens to me too. It's just so nice. <laughs> No, but uh, TFT is really huge, right? It's a massive game. And it's because of Dota's auto chess popping off that one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Riot just took that idea and made it better for more people. I mean, that's a lot of Riot's games, right? Just yeah. taking ideas yeah. and making it better. Yeah, taking a tactical shooter like CSGO and making it better. Obviously, better is subjective, but like better to monetize off of because it's more mainstream. <laughs> yeah, more I mean, popular. I... I, I just say it from like a, a gamer standpoint. Like I, I was the kind of person who like I would sit in the Warcraft 3 map editor and like learn how to make shit. I thought it was like super fun. Uh, so if there's a league one, I would do that. But they don't have it. Or would you nowhere to, to channel your that. creativity? Make stupid yeah. shit. Good pillar, actually. Oh. GPLT. Oh. Impact one shot. Impact one shot. Oh. oh, so close. Oh, he thought about the flash pistol yeah, shot. Yeah, Wouldn't have killed. Good. Uh, Unless he crit. Good restraint there. That, and poise. That in itself is already, like, what I love to see there is, yeah, the restraint and poise. Well said, Medios. Oh. It also gets... If EG plays it plays this out right, like it might just get them dragged. I don't know why they're hanging around mid so long. Look at that. They just danced around mid for so long it might actually stop them from getting the drag. Okay, no, they're gonna get it. Impact is in a dangerous spot again. He's kinda cheating a pretty illegal wave, but I think he's gonna be okay. Okay. Uh the payoff for that is actually so massive. Sometimes playing sideline you just you take risks and like yeah, it's, it's kind of invisible, but if TL had been able to get to that wave before Impact kills it all, they'd probably get a turret off the trade, but now they get nothing. I feel like so much of this game is just going to come down to if um, EG's carries, like GP, Jojo, uh, Victor, and uh, MF are going to be able to break up the Talia combo. They've been getting completely fucked over by Talia's W. True. Even the 100 Thieves series. Uh, I mean, they have a shit ton of CC to set it up. Like, yeah. Nautilus, all Wukong, Orn. They have a crazy amount of CC. Wow, one shots the entire wave. So powerful. You think he's going Prowler? Yep. Definitely, probably some of sounds really good. Does have essence, so you can't build Trinity. But why not? I've seen people do that. Uh, essence and Trinity? Hmm. Make it was good. Actually, essence and Sunderer when I saw it, but same that idea. One's, that one's better. Hmm. It's pretty powerful. Can Can you guys click GP so I can see how much gold he's gotten? Oh yeah, one sec. First sure. right. I got you. 
Dude, he's just holding the minion there. He's actually carrying I like that. them. I like that. <laughs> that makes the next wave Ooh. easier for him to farm. Hans has no flash. Oh my he's just god. Dead. And he's gone. He's just wow. dead. Oh Whoa. my god, impact? He's good. Impact had a... Oh, oh wait. wow. Good wait, slow wait, there. Wait, this good is a chase. There. Oh, oh my god! He's reassembling that ulti! What the what fuck? fuck? Yo, get his son, get his son. Yo so what? Alive. That he's alive. He's alive. Kind he's of nutty. He's not he alive. He's not alive. Okay, it's a game wow. five. It's Silver Scrapes. Q and Dude, Golkin is... Everyone that was a snipe, really bro. Well there. That was a snipe. The Dude, timing he hit is... her on the ult and then hits the perfect Q so that she couldn't even flash it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That was... Just two perfect timings, honestly. That's evil. fucking beautiful. You, I say evil, you say geniuses. Evil. <laughs> I didn't right. hear the geniuses. Were they Penises. saying that too? Penises. <laughs> All I heard was evil. evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the jinx! Oh, never mind. Danny actually hard carrying with the MF. Doing double lift build. The double build. I have a patent on this build. I invented this build. I'm the CEO of this build. <laughs> Dude, he actually just gets fucking destroyed from so far away. Yeah. I mean, he shouldn't flip that wave while his... It, it's totally idiotic. Bard has ulti. Like, it, it's just... No matter what, even That's if he true. didn't die yeah. to the initial thing, like, he just is so out of position there. Um, and his team is making a play top. God, that actually looks like so weird. That too. looks so weird, but this Q. Oh, nasty. Jesus. If Port oh, didn't Jesus. with his hook and just ulted GP and then followed it with hook, would that have looked different? Couldn't they just one shot GP? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, does GP being alive there have any effect on the fight, though? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it does. It yeah, does. I would say so. Oh. Wait. This is one of those what? good deaths. Like, I'm not yeah, even kidding. Good stopwatches. Wait a second. Oh, wait, his team wait. is coming. Wait, what the fuck? Here. Wait, it's he's such a good death that he's die. not even dead. Barely wait, dead. Hans, Hans, Hans is, is dead. Oh. In there. Oh my god. Wow, EG's actually winning. This is yeah. wild. The game's over. Did someone Holy say Silver Scrapes? You can see the Spider Man? Dude, the word, yep. he's the finding his way home. home. <laughs> no, there's no way home. For Bjergsen, though. True. Wait, does he get solo boloed here? Is Trundle yeah. just this OP? He tanks every spell and <laughs> still wins. And dabs on him. And dabs on, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yo. Oh. Is Vulcan oh. gonna dab on him? All right, Dude, he wins what this. is this 1v1? They've been. <laughs> <laughs> He's been chasing core oh, for the whole game. Q Master. <laughs> Yo, Inspired went all the way from bottom and now he's caught up with core. Yep. Oh, Q Master. Oh, Q Master. Oh. This is so, like, this is fucking comical looking. Like, you don't see this shit in a pro game. Now he's dabbing on this guy. <laughs> oh, wait. Vulcan KS? Gets the kill? Respect, respect. Actually, respect. Dude, I, I feel like. Trundle probably doesn't need the gold as much as Bard. No cap. I think this game's game. over too. No, actually, Bard scales really well. That's not it. That's not. A no, I'm statement. not even capping. Like, I think that's probably the right decision. Yeah, dude. He gets his dead man's after this. God damn. All right, Sneaky <laughs> can't take anything seriously, so we just don't acknowledge what he said. Am I no, wrong? But I, What's I, he I buying? Think one of the <laughs> one of the strangest like things I learned from playing with Bofrost so much is like Bard is actually a scaling champ. Like, he is a late game champ. Rapid yeah, fire yeah. cannon, Bard. How many What's... other supports collect chimes and get so many meeps? <laughs> he has more meeps than any other champion. <laughs> nice start to this by. Oh, why the whip? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he, he saw that shit? Yeah. What'd he do? He just Whipped completely his failed his Orn combo. <laughs> How like... is every Orn player just unable to play Orn? Yo, what up, Rush? Rush is here, boys. Say hi. Yo, what up, Rush? <coughs> Yo, what up, Rush, man? Nice kindred. What? Oh, he plays Lee Sin now. Oh, my bad. He's Lee Sin. No, dude, his most played is kindred this season. Oh. He had a good winger on it, too. Really? <laughs> yeah, last time I looked, he was like 
60 Raj, plus percent win rate. Dude, like better luck next time. I just put my entire fucking house mortgage down on you losing the next game. <laughs> 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 I'm cashing in. I will be the one sprinting it down in your game. <laughs> yeah, Rush, let me know yeah. when you queue up so I can hop on my KR account and find you and run it down in your game. I don't even need to. I can just I can just call the voice up. I got plenty of sleeper agents. <laughs> Oh, in the lower bard is like top two strongest entities. What is he supposed to be? Oh my god. I don't know, some like cosmic traveler. Wait, oh, he just oh. died to the big big cannon and collector. Ow. Dude, Inspired is demoralizing them. Holy shit. He's dancing on them. He really is. Actually dabbed on three people. Three different people. Dude, he's legit Fortnite emoting on his body. Is that allowed? We're playing League right now. <laughs> the fuck? Bro. Okay, but where will Vulcan's ulti go next? Will he drop it in Tomato Town? <laughs> I can see it. Actually, though, perma blowing, like, Talia plus, uh... Talia perma plus blowing Jinx Talia? Summoners? Oh. No, oh. I, like... The Summoners. The summoners. Flushed. <laughs> I'm pretty flushed right now. You can just play like the super long and annoying game. Like you, you let the enemy funnel into a choke, you ulti, you get their flash. The next time you do it, you literally just kill them. And like, cause of the range advantage that Bard has, and he's like so slippery and hard to engage on, like you actually slippery just- Slippery and hard? You guys yeah. Oh my idiots. Jesus. I mean like from, from EG's perspective, like you don't even need to end it fast. You can make this game long and super hard for your opponent. <laughs> Anytime their summons are up, you just blow them. <laughs> you you practiced that one. You actually you you had that fucking in your back pocket. I'm just adding on to what you were saying. <laughs> Compliments it very well, Medias. Thank you. Yeah, I just All right, lost track. I lost track of my thoughts. So I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling a little lightheaded right now, guys. <laughs> Woo! Turn the busy. AC on. <laughs> the mind's pumping right now. <laughs> Dude, the heat wave in California is pretty insane. It's Fucking... actually wild. <laughs> oh. oh, they did it! They actually did the combo. Wow. You he don't exploded. see that very often. Bard into Trundle. Yeah, that's pretty okay. nice. Just an immediate 2.2 second stun. And, but the cooldown on Bard Q is fucking stupid. It's like four seconds with some haste. With like a normal amount of haste. And back we go. Santorin doesn't have flash, so if he wants to go for this steal, he's going to need to get some crazy angle where he like W's over the wall somehow without dying. At the same time, they're like, there's not that much threat. Look at him. He's totally fine to walk up. Right? Ooh! Right? He's totally fine to walk up, right? Why the hit hard? He's fine, Copium. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait, where's Jojo going? Yo, he's Jojo, dead. Jojo he's trolled. going home. Ooh, oh, not oh a sick flash God. by Hans. Oh, oh no! Usually I feel like flashing out of it's better than into it, no. but... No. Damn, oh, Vulcan. Yeah. Vulcan. I, Vulcan. I, Dude, Vulcan Yo, why are we putting him. this guy on Tom Don't Pinch Penta? if he's got this kind of bard, by the way? Penta? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a kill! Actually, pentable. Yeah. No, guys, but I think Vulcan really wants to play Tom Kench game five. Get the silver scrapes ready. Dude, we'll put him on a useless meatball. <laughs> if this is how EG wants to play, dude, put Danny on no. the. Here it is. They just get fucking Penta. go get him, champ, kind of character. Penta! Penta, Penta, Penta! Oh, oh, holy fuck. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. He gave Penta. Penta kill. Oh, nice. Well, you know, on the bright side, Hans did use his flash. That's pretty important. He didn't use it great, but it <laughs> was pressed. He was feeling pressured. It, um, that's a big game four for EG. I thought they was fucked. They pulled it out with some fairly off meta champs. True. Now Whippo's really like, dude, nah, fuck Orin, man. <laughs> that was when Whippo whips out his Rengar top and he just completely 1v9s. He shuts up all the haters. 
Uh, you're talking about it in drafts. Fucking impact blind ZP. And she's like, no way he goes Orin here. <laughs> you're like, We're both sitting here like, <laughs> they made me pick Orin, man. Last time I'm playing that shit. Wide Bweepo walk. <laughs> All right. Game five. Bweepo locks in Olaf top. Pjergsen plays a Kali. Boom. Boom. Silver screen. No, no. Realize. Actually, if they go Olaf top, they need to play around Bwipo. He's powered up right now. Give him Renata a zillion with for his Olaf, and it's over. Wait, Give him TL Ivern jungle for his Rengar top. Yet. TL did not pick zillion a single time. What's happening? Do they not want to win? It's a game five zillion angle. It's banned. They actually no, you know, I, I actually think but, but he he's the time lord. Like he can just go back in time before it was banned. Oh. I think Rengar <laughs> Ivern is a legit OP combo. Like if someone in competitive could play those champs, I think he could like actually force bans or win games with it. Wait, who? Rengar Ivern. Rengar Ivern. I think that those combo of champs is like actually broken together. So, so like Rengar top. Yeah, I mean it's they're both junglers, so it's kind of awkward to play them. But yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Dude, it, like, if you played against a good one, it feels super unfair. I've played against Rengar Ivern, man. I don't think I don't think Rengar is that great. I mean, dude, just just wait, just wait, man. World Finals. You'll see. You'll all see. You'll all see. <laughs> I wonder if TL is gonna ban MF. Good. Would you, if you're TL? No. Uh, let me think. What have they been banning so far? Zeri, Zena. Speaks, but... mm. I mean, it's just one of those champs. Just, just hey, what if they just have jinx. no confidence in Danny? They're like, they're just letting him get away with playing mm. MF. She's unpunishable. It's Make him true, play something that takes skill. MF, MF is actually pretty hard to punish, but like they've been the last or game GP. they died. They dove MF at level two, right? I, I feel like I feel like you. You you ban it, or you just don't blind Jinx. Uh huh. Because I would say like M one of Emma's better matchups is against Jinx, since she's a, mo a mobile carry that gets actually zoned by her abilities. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, what are the what are the second tier picks? Right, it's like Lucian Nami. Raven, Lucian Nami, yeah. Um, you can play Zyricon. Don't know if Hans plays Zaya actually, but. Uh, that champ is not bad, not bad. Does Core play Rakan? He might have a skin or two on it. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> well, that shows he could play it four years ago. I mean, did he earn the skin, though, or did he just get carried? Five years ago, even. Oh, he yes, got carried. carried. Oh, carried. damn. Oh, that would just that would just make sense. When are they going to get Sneaky and Medios on for the Mr. Ooh. Beast gaming? <laughs> Sneaky and double if saying EG three two. Oh, let's Wait, go, Sneaky, bro. You you were supposed to change the answer slightly when I gave you the paper, bro. Oh, uh, fuck, huh. man! Can't believe you actually submitted directly after they were me once again. Together. That is so troll, dude. Now the teacher's gonna know. Uh. This is why double has been going so easy on Bjergsen instead of roasting him because he, he already feels bad for voting against him. <laughs> I mean, it's a foregone conclusion. I've never failed a prediction before. <laughs> EG's already won. This feels like we're watching a finals match. I it's mean, like so important. The stakes and, are quite high. Yeah. It just feels like it's not fair for TL to not make rolls after spending so much money, you know? It, it, yes. Like, it's, just, it's not they the American way to, to allow someone so rich to not succeed. Like, it's, it just wouldn't be fair. Absolutely not. If there's one thing I know, it's that uh, Steve wanted it more. <laughs> I, so I think even if... And I fucking even if... <laughs> what? <Huh? laughs> it's like, it's not fair for someone so rich to not succeed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's the American dream, man. It's criminal. It's a fucking troll. <laughs> oh, I think shit. even if TL loses, they should be allowed to buy in a spot at Worlds, a fourth seed. I was about to say that. I, I think <laughs> even if TL loses, they, they should just let him in anyways. They really have earned it. The fourth seed. 
Oh yeah, I was thinking Power Rangers. That works too. Oh, like, like a Mega Mega Sword? That would be uh -oh. yeah. They took That's Trundle? the NA All Stars team. Oh, oh God. Impact's daring him. He's hovering the orange. He's Nine like, yeah, I'd like to see you pick this guy again. I think Team Liquid should just buy a Latam spot and then rename to Team Lechuga. <laughs> just go to Worlds that way. Oh. No wonder Team it's so chill Lechuga. for them. Lechuga. Yeah. Pretty sure that means lettuce. <laughs> yeah, Team Lettuce. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Team Lechuga representing Latin America Worlds. Boom. Could, could honestly be a viable idea. We'll take that down in suggestions. Lechuga. All right. We'll run it by the board of investors. Steve is running around at Ride HQ right now. Blank check. Perfect. Begging. Silas Blind Pickle. And Do you really Kalia. want to live in a world that where you can't buy your way to the top? What's the point of even having so much money if you have to follow the same rules as everyone else? Dude, it's so messed up, isn't it? It's just cruel. Jinx Lulu 23. Holy moly. Miss oh, there it is, the MF. No, they actually did ban Gangplank. They're scared of it. Last game, I feel like Victor did so much work on the follow-up to Bard. I feel like Silas isn't nearly as good, but we'll see. Truth. Okay, so for EG, I think they should ban Talia or Zillion if they're going to go Orn. With the Orn ban, that... I should say. I think... I, I think it's a mistake to leave just do it again. open Talia, but... Whatever. Galio, really? Perfect. Ugh. I didn't like that at all. I so so Galio is good against a TL fan. Galio is really good against uh, Rakan because you are an absolute massive wall that he cannot ever go into. But other than that, I don't see why it would be good. It's not really that good against Silas or really just. This is literally meta. like a Han Sama one v nine the game kind of comp. Renekton, the sin. I don't like either draft that much, but I. They Pretty both weird, have, honestly. They both have weird weaknesses involved. So for EG, I think they 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 don't have scaling. MF and Renekton do not scale, but on TL side, it's like they don't have that much damage. All of their damage is on Han. So even though they do technically scale, like Trundle scales, Jinx Lulu scales, like I think Aatrox outscales Renekton. But like the big problem with that comp is they don't have damage unless Han's is one v five. If he dies they actually get outscaled. Like, they'll never win a 4v4 situation where someone trades one for one and Hans is dead. So I don't know. Actually, yeah, I, I, it's, it's I don't really, really weird. See, I don't see why Bjergsen wanted Galio here into Silas. Does not sound good. Well, one thing that worked out well for him is that the enemy team is like four dive champs. So maybe he just thinks, I don't need to kill anyone. I just need to keep Hans alive. But yeah. I totally see what you're saying, too. Both comps are very weird, for sure. Mm -hmm. Based on draft, whose chances do you like better? I don't know. I think it's dead even. It's all going to come down to who plays better. Hmm. No prediction. I mean, no I predicted prediction. before the series started. I Before the series started, I predicted EG3-2. But I don't think either team has a distinct advantage in draft right now. I'm ready for a spicy one. Let's go. Yeah. I think I'm. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say liquid, based on draft. Not because I think their comp is like especially great, but it's just playoffs, and I feel like scaling always wins. Yeah. Let's go, egg. D shield Silas. Is that good? I don't know. Oh my god. Holy damage. That's a lot of damage. Game time, Jack? 15, 15 16, 16, 17, yeah. 
Since Medius is so smart, he doesn't actually need us to keep talking. Yeah, I, Gojo, I, it was actually perfect. Gojo was wants actually to go back to mid. <laughs> I, I realized I was one second ahead, so I counted. I continued counting in my head, and I paused for one second, and now I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Oh, Wait, stop. So you're, you're, you're confusing him. Stop it. <laughs> That's so cool that you can do that. Double is trying to trigger a sneaky challenge. <laughs> I am usually not at odds with sneaky. You're the one griefing him. Yeah, fuck you, Medios. Yeah, it's all Medios' fault. Yep. What is happening here God, exactly? This fuck? looks so fucking. Is this How many real? times is he gonna reset this gromp? Like, what is this? <laughs> Danny just missed that minion right in his face. Sometimes I feel like these invades don't accomplish really anything other than setting both junglers behind, which maybe that's Santorin's goal, right? But like, look at it right now. Nice, I stole the buff. I got his fucking blue, guys. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just down a camp for the rest of the game. Well, jungler's still level two, three and a half minutes in. Nice. Yeah. You, in solo queue, most junglers are level four right here with full clear. Yeah. Level two, Trundalul. I think oh, that's actually three. a really, really important part of being able to jungle, though, is like... I, I, I really respected Jake for being able to do this, but like he sometimes knew that like in the in his matchup it's good if both junglers are behind. So like any mutual time waste that we can have is good. I've never actually heard of any other jungler who like thought of the game that way. And I've played with a lot of fucking junglers. <laughs> so that's I why like I, I, I think he's always comfortable abnormal. being starved. No, it's super abnormal. Are you kidding? A jungler who is comfortable being like a, like a starved ass weakling and and yeah. also doing the same thing to their jungler is like not normal not normally I, I mean that was a meta for a long ass time being like that's true. a warding bitch <laughs> yeah that, that that's actually I feel true. like legit every jungler from that era did that if you played those metas i think it it has a massive benefit to you when the meta switches away from jungle being the carry like if it's ever a meta like this then you are so comfortable with your job like they even interviewed Santorin and he said, yeah, jungle doesn't really matter. All that matters is how I can get my lanes ahead. It's like, yeah, he has yeah. played, what, 10 years competitive, some shit like that? I guess nine years. So very, very comfortable for him. Oh, we're dead. No, he lives. So close, though. Ow. Ouchie. Back to back Q crits. Atrox? Atrox so always, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> always the same joke about Atrox crit. He doesn't even have any Why don't crit you guys chance. get any original jokes anymore? You just repeat the same stuff. I know. Gross. Disturbing. Grow up. On one side, you can see Whippo is kind of, but not really respecting. I don't think this even Wait. chills. Wait. Wait. Oh? Done? Nope. No, it doesn't kill. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was quite a lot of damage on the return from Whippo. He got his flash. Yeah. I his mean, ult. getting his flash and ult's not bad. It does. Now Inspired is gonna. Help with Herald. Inspired I'm is gonna stay for the crab. This could actually bite him in the ass because ah. Impact's not in good fighting condition at all. Impact's getting dumpy. No stun. Impact didn't stun there. Oh, okay. Huh. He couldn't. Wow, and now they give the top grab. That's so fucked. Why would they give the grab? Not sure. Wait, Impact's going to take it. Oh! Is that a flash? No. I'm trying to give the E range, but it seems a little. Danny, he greedy. doesn't have. Yeah. He doesn't have it. Oh, oh Bjerk's just getting that ass! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, he wow, the actually, now hero Bjergsen's play. Now dead. Now Bjergsen's dead. Oh! Or... Is he? Now he's dead. Wow. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Holy, Holy fuck. Inspired not taking that crab and instead recalling actually saved the fuck out of Vulcan. <laughs> it did. It did. Bjergsen hesitated too long on the flash. I would love for them to show that again. He sat there for a little bit, like a fraction of a second. He sat there and was like, do I, should I flash this? And that actually cost him, like, fucking the kill. And if he did it a little faster, I think he lives that, too. 
Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it, honestly, it, it was weird for Inspired Kanako for the Kraven to recall instead. And that definitely caught him off guard. That's kind of an understandable thing, though. Like, yeah. given the information they have, like it, it was pretty weird for Inspired to be there. Still, it's like you either go, you either go for the play with no hesitation, or you don't go for the play. It, I, I feel like ha having that killer instinct matters so much. Oh, oh is he nice dead again? Risk. No, nah. I don't think he can die. No damage. Oh, almost. He barely got out with eighty percent there. <clears throat> Supports being level four while mid laners are running around level seven is so funny. Just these nerf soul lane supports. XP. Nerf all laners. No, I, I like it. I like it when there's a big contrast between the roles. Especially when mine's way better than all the other ones. No, but like MOBAs were meant to be like that, not like Heroes of the Storm, where everyone is the same. Disagree. Oh. Pretty useless ulti by Inspired, to be oh. honest. Didn't like it. Santorin oh. got the Herald. Oh, wow. Perfect. Wolken just yeah. barely slipped out of that. Yeah. Golf clap. Oh shit. Oh my god, the whole fucking. Danny oh, has the oh, flash oh. though. It seems like oh, a he bait. Give a fuck. Yeah, okay. he, he shouldn't. He has flash still. Hit the thing. Okay. I mean, he just fucking sat there and Impact? ulted instead. Yeah. He has flash. This is nothing. Wait, huh. Hans might ulti. Oh. What is he all doing? <laughs> Just what is this man game? Top. I mean, it's both teams, right? Except for Jojo here. <laughs> I think it's. I think oh, like. Oh, oh, that was holy shit. Close, he actually. No, he's trying to do the recall snipe on. Yeah, I, I know, but like it was yeah. not closely timed. <laughs> I see, I see. It wasn't. Yeah. Did you guys know Jinx Alt speeds up? Yep. Well, really, I had no idea. Bet you didn't. Yeehaw! Yeah, you're just saying that to save face, I understand. Uh, nope. Oh, wow. Completely zero value Herald if Inspired can kill the eye again. Hit the eye oh. again. Oh, oh my, oh my oh. god. That's so that's, big. That's so big. It's so big. It's gonna have a big it's impact. Like in this the, game. the Herald not crashing there, it's just so big. <laughs> and hard to come back if you're TL from a play like that. Well, I mean, I don't know about comebacks, so it makes sense. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's good. Oh. Wow, insane flash by Core there. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Oh, Dead. wow. Oh, Holy nice kill shit. by JoJo. Core, Core had actually the funniest recall there. He's like. <laughs> He's like that guy watching popcorn or eating popcorn, the really buff guy. <laughs> He's like, damn, Hans, you're fucking dead, bro. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Yo, bro, don't die too fast. I don't want him to get me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, completely correct play. He, if he shields or shows position, they just both die. But the mental warfare aspect? I mean, of course, been watching Hans in the game like many Let's times. Let's see it. He got pulled. Oh wait, I'm on. A little bit oh. wider on that MF ulti would have been better. A lot For of the MF reason. ulti gets clipped into the terrain. I'd... Yo, can we talk about how Bjergsen is doing Raptors during? This, wait a sec, by the way? dude. Did did he really not react to Flash W? He had Flash. Yeah. Uh, how come how come Galio is farming Raptors instead of ulting this though? Dude, it, it doesn't matter. Hans literally got flash w by Rakan, didn't react. Like, he just didn't press flash there. I don't know. Maybe yeah, it makes a difference. I don't know, man. I feel like Galio is kind of a roaming champ. Raptors is not going to kill itself, Medius. That's what you don't understand. And, and, right. and Galio is scaling up pretty hard. Actual right Bjergsen skill in the chat. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, he's got to get 143 CS at 15 minutes. Double lift. <laughs> Dude, that's Trovi CS if you just back up like a few minutes. Yeah. You got a 12 minutes, maybe that's Trovi CS. He's catching up there.
Chobi actually not Harold handshake a meme for once as well actually winning crazy actually yeah it's so bizarre that Chobi and ruined everyone else EK. yeah it's pretty cool Chobi's I watched, goaded I watched the opening ceremony for for that uh finals and like the intros were so insane like it actually gave the shit gave talk was pretty good oh I didn't get that part Really? Wait. Oh my god. Holy shit. Massive Wombo from both teams. Oh, JoJo's one HP. No, he's dead. It's over oh for EG. They're fucked. Run. Oh, Iron got out. One broke the Aatrox chain. No, no, no. Impact's fucking dead. I was so close to him getting pulled back through. Impact is so Omega dead. I think Impact could have TP'd out, but... Yeah, he chilled. probably should have TP'd out. Damn. But look, Danny is getting big off of this bot turret. Boom, boom. He might even get the turret next wave. That's so insane. <laughs> Large. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad for EG. Oh, it's terrible. He's not going to get the turret. <gasps> nice, I'm up 6 yes, guys. True. I think it's all downhill for Galio after level 11, one item. He's like a jungler. He'll get his second item, and then everyone else is going to have four. Not if he keeps farming raptors. <laughs> yeah, true. I haven't seen gold funnel Galio too much. Fighting? Fighting! Wow. Hunts what's that? I mean, I guess. Wait, I'm done. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. this could be weird. This could be weird. Wait, Hans is in a this weird is spot. Weird. Oh my Hans? god. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Impact? Wait what is and JoJo? Here? Wait. What is happening? Wait, Dude, what is actually wait, happening? If Hans had ulti, he dead he somehow. If Hans had that was ulti, wild. What was that? Oh! Is Bebo oh, dead? No, Bo -Bo. Oh my god, he's Bo -Bo. dead. Oh my god. It's all ogre. It's all ogre. Dude, I can't believe you called that out, Sneaky. That was actually so important. <laughs> the fact that oh! Hans, the fact that Hans wasted his ulti is actually crazy. Yeah, like, I mean, like, what the fuck was that? Up, it ended up being so big. Like, he would have killed somebody, gotten all of his mana back with presence of mind, and gotten a reset. Like, it would have changed the fight totally. Wait, what did he waste his all time? He, he just did it on dating for fun. Like, he and then poked out. Really? What, he what, that? He yeah. wasn't even low. Yeah. Huh. You can you can actually oh, like right it here. Literally it, it just is, happened. This is after it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see it yeah. just on cooldown. And this fucking recall. And dude? then a like, greedy the recall fuck? again. No, he's griefing, man. Yeah, that that was actually really fucking suspicious. This double TP was. The fact that Renekton came in wow. like half a second that before Silas actually worked out so well for them. Dude, yeah. that pop ulti knocked out two. Like that that actually was such a huge fucking deal that two people it was 5v3 for a pretty solid five seconds yeah and then this like definitely the strength of the champ i think at that point tl kind of needs to say like yo this this is fucked Hans Dude, has Hans no has mana to i feel can't fight so bad for that yeah holy I mean, shit i mean i've been having that kind of issue a decent amount in playoffs like just greedy recalls and getting punished yeah I think it's even made worse by the fact that they knew that Inspired and Vulcan were in that bush. Like, if you remember just five seconds before that, they were fighting over a ward in that bush. So, it's not like he's like, oh shit, they're actually here? What? It's like, dude, you you know that they're there. It's not a surprise. I mean, uh, also, he was, he was re recalling on one of their wards. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's almost never true. a good idea to recall in their vision. <laughs> yeah. Then they know exactly when and confirm your recall, so there's no chance you could be hiding or whatever. I will say, like, the way he played it afterwards, just in, in like, after the situation where he just completely griefed his ulti and recalled in the terrible spot, he played, played pretty well. Like, instant cleanse, flash out last second, good traps, but no mana. Yeah. He just got no pushed ult. out of the fight, pretty much, right? Just couldn't really do damage. Yeah, yeah he could do near, basically zero damage. Actually, such a bummer. I mean, I think... if you overlook him baiting his whole team and then not doing any damage, <laughs> it's actually like pretty well played. Yeah, I I would really love to see like in that moment what is Han saying? Because like I would I think if you're an AD carry there with 
nothing and like no mana to fight, you need to make it absolutely loud and aggressively clear that you don't want to fight. Like, that's such yeah. critical information. You know, I have no mana, I can't fight, can't fight, can't fight. Like something like that. And then obviously you don't just fucking repeat yourself like a drone, but you need your team to know that you're going to do zero damage this fight. Interesting build from Inspired. It's kind of like the Sejuani thing, just bammies into Anathemas. Now he's getting either Randuin or Frozen Heart. He says, fuck you, Jinx. True. There's actually a really good situation for that item, though. Like, one threat comps. Yeah, I mean, Aatrox does a lot of damage, too. Yeah, he so. does, but... I think Trundle and Galio being facilitators, Lulu too, you have like three facilitators and like two just carries, but I would say Aatrox just eventually becomes a bit of a non-factor in fights. Yeah, I like mean, he's, he's, he's not more like of a shredding than a, than a killer, yeah. He doesn't have much percent damage, just his passive, but it's not super relevant. And like what I've learned about these metas where like you put all your eggs in like the basket of AD carry or whatever it is, one super hyper carry is like any mistakes that they make it actually dude what the fuck is going on I, he just flashed and cleansed and it's just like back up so my my t my sense of time is actually totally off it felt like he did it a couple minutes ago but it's already back up yeah but anyways i, mean, I like think his I, I i think like his his like sums being up or down or like his mana you know it becomes like so magnified how important that is since the team is depending on you to be doing like 70 percent of the damage then you know, it's an unequal share and like every single mistake slash like missing resource you have is so big. It doesn't matter now because Hans has everything back up, but last fight definitely mattered. Mm -hmm. Is baseball still like alive? I've, for some reason- No, they like, just shut down the last stadium recently. <laughs> I heard like a, like five years ago though that baseball is literally just like a whole bunch of boomers slash super old people sitting there with like pen and paper, like writing down stats because it's like all stats based. Hmm. I don't really understand what that means, though. Like, wh why are they writing shit down on, on sheets of? I don't know. Um, probably just from habit. Before that, shit was all digital. I can't speak to baseball popularity. I don't know shit about sports. <laughs> sports ball. 11. I I could Love I could never sports. really follow baseball, honestly. I. I played baseball when I was younger. Spent a decent amount of Nationals games with my dad, but I don't know. It's okay. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Like, is baseball more popular than fucking LCS or like VCT? Yes. Is is okay? A lot. Wow. I don't fucking know. If I I don't I mean like obviously different circles, different different states. Yeah. And stuff. I, I couldn't answer that question with certainty. I, I, I couldn't. Like, I straight up, if, if you had me guessing, I'd be like, uh, I just have no idea. It's 50 50 for me. <laughs> I think it's still quite a bit bigger. Okay, I, maybe not LCS, but like League. I mean, I think if you compare League in like China, maybe? Yeah, yeah, like Cause everything. Because China's a fuck ton. Legit everything. But like in, in America, baseball is considerably more popular. Okay, I can understand that. EG is I mean, just going to get I this unless Centurion Flash Smites. Oh, reset. Oh. Inspired uh -oh. is Inspired uh -oh. is usually the one doing Flash Smites. Oh Smite. my Wait. god. Wait. Holy shit. Centurion Lives. 1 HP. Lives. One HP. Actually saved by Galio Alt. Oh. Dude, these things on top the objectives are so I scary. Know. They keep happening. Like, it doesn't hit unless it actually hits a champ and then it would steal. But it just looks so scary every time. Yeah. Uh, it really does. I, I feel like what's funny about Hans in doing these is like he always aims directly at the objective, but Inspired is always off to one side. Like he should probably have learned that by now. Yeah. Obviously it's fine. Like you're not going to get it most of the time. It's basically like a maybe five or 10% chance that like the, uh, the timing is really unlucky and EG doesn't react and like stars align, you get this thing. But that's just one thing I've noticed. Nice engage by Vulcan, honestly. One thing you can't. How do you not die? That's so crazy. 
Yeah, Galliol. Well, yeah, Galliol to give him a bad shield. Let's see this again. Oh, I understand why he hit it. Why he shot it the way he did, though. Yeah, I mean, he's he's never gonna hit them unless their screens off, right? Like, you can always move to get out of the Jinx rocket. Well, he's doing it from fog, so it could be. Oh, that was like one of those recalls where I'm like, I'm sweating my balls off because. That could have just been flash or even like a random kill if you're not paying attention. All right, I Googled it. And mm -hmm. according to a 2021 Washington Post poll, football was the most, like most people's favorite sport at 34%. And this is in the US. And then baseball was tied with basketball at 11%. What, what are the percents? I missed. Wow, the, I'm so sure. surprised. Baseball 34 is for tied football with and basketball? Yeah, I mean, like, I, it's it's like all people in the U.S. though. Like, there's a lot of the U.S. that's like not at all like the kind of like. Oh my God! I see. swear. Cord just wow. died. Oh, he died. No, he, no ulti. No Corey exploded. Dude, I, what is huh? wrong with Core? Where is where anything? is where is fingers? Like, like seriously, this is so fucking crazy. Like. If I if I made these kind of mistakes in a playoffs, like I would literally never fucking hear the end of it. He actually had every button available there, Shirelius, Flash, and Ulti, and chose to use none. What the hell is going on? He doesn't give a That's fuck. That's like the third time this series where he just has every button and it could make a good or like, you know, save somebody, kill somebody, he just does nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder is Santorin saving pillar for MF ult? Because Trundle's actually so good against MF for that reason. Like, you can just never pill her and just cancel her all immediately every time. Yeah, yeah but I don't I don't think Santorin's thinking that way, even though it's even cool. there. Yeah. Let's see. No, he's Does not he there. He's not it? there at all. He's not close. Wow. Yeah, he's on range. Wow. I am just absolutely amazed Car, that this happened. I mean, I think in his defense, he didn't think he was still in the hitbox. That looked... That was like, I mean, dude, he walked no, into no, it. Don't, no. don't, you cannot excuse that. He walked into the ulti. It's a fucking pro player. It's core. His mechanics are usually really good. He was not in the ulti. He walked right straight into it and then walked down like wall still in it and died, pressing no buttons at all. Yeah, I mean, it, it was pretty crazy. bad. Yeah. That is just disgusting, man. Like, I would just be so fucking tilted if my teammate did something that bad. I would just be like, bruh. Bruh. I, I think this is just an off fucking year for him. That's pretty much cool. Uh, nothing though. Sometimes like random shit beats out, um, beats out Rakan's W. I guess that's one of them. Good looks by Vulcan. I think, man, Vulcan's contribution to EG cannot be like understated. He is really good looking. Oh, baby. Wait, what were we saying? <clears throat> Yeah, Vulcan's a pretty good player. I gotta turn off text to speech, man. Nobody asked, bro. <laughs> oh, sorry. Three dollars no, 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 and you two can not interrupt you, double lift. <laughs> not you two can you. be the little B in double lifts here for three bucks. <laughs> <clears throat> the whole point, surely TL can test this, but can they actually do anything? Wow. I, no, they no just fucking way to win this. They actually just gave it up. Does EG actually uh. just give this? Dude, what are your chances of winning when you give them soul? You're 3k gold down. Like, I cannot Holy. understand these decisions. Who is making the calls for TL? Bro, you're 3k gold down. You're not going to get... You're actually 2k gold down. You're not going to get a better chance of winning the game than fighting this soul. After they get the soul, your chance of winning is like fucking 10%. So why would you not take like a 45-55 fight when you're barely down in gold? That just makes no sense. Even just go for the steal. Fuck it, Santorin, like, jinx. send it on the steal. It might be Jinx. Look, she has Aino. She didn't have it. Dude, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, you yeah. just literally, you send the whole fucking team to kill that drag and take the 50-50, uh -oh. or you just open mid. Oh? Wait, Denny? Huh? Denny? Oh, he's ki oh, 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 oh. Oh, Danny? he got the cancel. Hold Danny's up. Danny? Danny's fucked. Danny? He's fucked, he's fucked. Oh, no, Danny's no, trolling. No. Danny's trolling no, so trolling. hard. Trolling. Oh, shit. Oh, get him in back. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Did you see oh, what he did there? No, no, no dude, he fucking didn't... trolled. His positioning so hard. He like kept, see it. he kept walking in, and then he fucking, he flashed, still inside of the Aatrox W, presses R, gets ripped back, cancels his <laughs> R, 
Oh my Wait, god. Is that what hat canceled? I thought it was Pillar. No. Yeah. You got ripped oh, back. No. I, I would love that. Hopefully they show it again. Is this a battle of like who can toss it harder? Dude, this is actually weird because Danny was like incredibly clutched last playoffs, and this one he is actually yeah, he fumbling is so hard. Okay. If I was EG here, I would actually gracefully give this Baron without fighting it because it's the really the main it. way that you would lose. Fuck down. Teach my team a lesson for getting caught. <laughs> Alright, they should show it here. Come on, guys. Replay team, please. Come on. Literally nothing can happen here. I want to see Inspired Clothes. Oh. Wait, I don't want to watch this. All right, let's see Danny. I'm watching Danny. Yeah. There you go, ready? Warren. It's like right now. Look at this positioning. Like, where is he walking? Okay. Oh my He's god. Trolling. He gets hit. He okay. flashes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. What? No. No. That was no, so no. bad. No, no, no. It's a win trade. It's a win trade. It's that was trade. so troll, dude. It's a win trade. What? You guys now see the light that I have Holy seen. Holy shit, that was, nothing was light about that play. That was <laughs> fucking... Dude, right the from the darkest pits of hell. The PayPal went through. Demon play. <laughs> the fuck are these faces, This guy man? is... <laughs> I swear, dude, Danny is fucking possessed. Uh, I think, like, fucking, maybe, like, Fabby or... I'm not even sure. Who is that... Who is that, uh... Inter AD carrying or what? Yeah. Somebody. Mm. Tactical possessed him. Instinct? Tactical? Those are the recent ones. Tactical's probably had the like biggest misposition blunders. As we see in the chess world. Blunders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Blunder? Actually, Honestly. Not a very league term. Definitely a chess term. The but but good. I think like the stress of having a good engage is still on EG. Like TL has a pretty peel oriented comp and EG has like only really dive, so I am really concerned though if Danny's ult gets channeled for literally one second. He's 16, he's fully locked and loaded, like you don't get any stronger than this at six items, you barely get any additional value. So I, I think this is probably the absolute peak of MF right now with these items. He can straight hundred zero the whole team. Yeah, like you know, if his old so channels for, for more than one second before he flashes into an Aatrox W, like <laughs> he will actually fuck them up. Oh, not like that though. And Corin, no flash. He's kind of caught. No, he's okay. He's okay. There's no damage, right? Uh, true. Danny's in a really oh, fucked whoa, up whoa, spot. Whoa, Inspired. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh my okay. god, dude, they're making this round so he's not okay. No, 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 no. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, God. What's happening, bro? Gonna win. Nah. Gonna win. Oh, God. Nah, Danny's getting mind controlled. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I actually, dude, I'm telling you guys, he's possessed by tactical. Wow, this is crazy. This they gave Mountain Soul and then just started shitting on him. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, it's, 80 carries, it's not over. It's not over. This 80 elder. carries, positioning challenge. Impossible. Especially in this playoffs. I don't know I, what's going on. It is over, though, because, like, EG's teammates are just so tilted at him. Like, this is just crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. This is fucking, like, Tom Bradley 90-yard Hail Mary throws. <laughs> okay, look. The first ulti was honestly so bad, I couldn't believe it. Like, you don't ever ult there, but it's okay. You disengage, you get a reset off. The enemy team yeah, has been just wasting walk Baron. Just walk leave. away, walk away. Now watch Danny, watch Danny. No, he has Wait. to. He just fucks around, gets ah. tagged by Jinx W. <laughs> Dies. Dude, uh, okay, okay. All things considered, that was probably the best outcome for EG where they, they, like Danny dies, they lose two turrets and like, that's it. His flash is back up. Like it's, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh another that's shit ulti. damage. That Wait. one wasn't too bad. Danny's uh -oh. dead. And he's oh gone. Oh Wait, Hans? Oh Hans has flash. Hans has flash. Teal wins this. Teal wins this. Oh my god. Teal wins this. Teal wins yeah. this. Normally when the AD carry gets oh. insta-killed, oh. it's not a good time. Oh, hold up. Hold up. They ain't done yet. 
no, no, easy with this. Easy with this. Easy with this. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Oh. oh. What a game, dude. This is what actually game, fucking is it, hard. Is it, is it over? Just end? It's over. Wait, yeah, they, is it they're over? going for the end. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Are they? I don't know. Oh my god. Just it, it is four, over, man. 4v2 all Game melee show? champs? I I don't know, man. I don't know if it's, it's over. I think it's going to be hard for them to actually take Nexus turrets. I, I, I don't like, think it's It would be a I fucking miracle tell. if Pearson actually... Pearson, what actually... the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh, he's, no, he's stalling. Okay, he's, he's okay. He's good. He's good. I thought he was getting caught and dying. They can't end! Yeah, oh, actually, big mistake can. by EG they here. That they might not even be able to do Elder anymore. Yeah, can they do it? El Haunt is dead for 10. It would be really weird if they didn't get Elder. Da Danny's look, up. Look, yeah, Danny's look up. at the they death timers. Because Danny's it's so dead. fucking smart. He died so fast in that team fight that it was a death timer difference between the 80 carries. Like, he's so genius. Dude, he's he's actually fucking big braining it. Holy Course, shit. Steal it, steal it, if no If he balls. died any later, he would have steal. He's been practicing you know, all game. This leads into Baron, too. Like, Yo, this is actually the so jinx. Steal, 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 steal. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my oh. god. Dude, oh. If he, game, if every he stole game. that, actually? If he stole that, actually, like, it, it, mentally, the game's over. TL wins. Yeah. Holy fuck, man. Holy fuck, man. I mean, they Holy should just get Baron off this, and then they should take another fight. That should end the game, but uh, these fights are so close. Danny dude. didn't even flash in the last one. He still hasn't. Uh, yeah. I mean, dude, he's been saving it for a while. Like, it's so ready for this next Danny's one. And he's been playing these fights really well for you. <laughs> he's been baking up. <laughs> Fresh out the uh, oven, ready. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Ed Edward Raw is a fucking, like, vengeful spirit. When he is, when he is out of playoffs, he fucking... His presence is still known. His soul goes over into the next body and takes yeah. him over. Actually, he's Viego IRL. Wait, dude, it's up again? Are you kidding? What the fuck was that? It's um, I, I literally just saw him trying to steal an elder. <laughs> Kings Rocket what? doesn't have a cooldown, man. It's That's just, what I've learned when she was meta. Like, basic it's ability? Just, the whole game, you're just sitting there like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm dead. Okay, how about the Krugs? Can he steal the Krugs with Jinx Rocket here? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wait, why didn't he build that one item? You know the thingy, Ash support kits? Who? Uh, Imperial Mandate? No, the, the CDR on the alt one. Ultimate Hunter? No, it's like the lethality item. Axiom Arc, there you go. Oh, you're stupid. What, for okay, a I'm stupid, I guess. Who, Jinx? Yeah, for more alts. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a lethality item. Mm-hmm, yeah. Lethality's good for, uh, Physical damage champs makes them do more physical damage. You mean okay. wrong. So you they know in the fives. Thirty-five, by the way. It's not very long. They kind of have to go. Yeah, they they they, they, they kind of got to go crazy with the elder. Honestly, they could just 30. they could just end they here. Could, they like, could actually they could dive nexus turrets. Yeah, they yeah. they could dive nexus turrets 100 percent with elder. They're just yeah. out ahead. It's soul and elder. Like you really cannot lose a fight. Hans has no flash. Danny no, just dude, watch, walks up. If, if, if Danny just if Danny can just over. press R on somebody. If Danny can just press R on anybody. Press R, press R. Yep. Oh, okay. Danny with a huge game winning ult. Actually game winning. It's Holy over. shit. End the game, it's GG. Over. It's, it's over. all ogre. TL Holy is eliminated shit. from worlds. Holy shit. Dude, Massive. everyone celebrating Danny not part of the huddle. Only Vulcan coming over to give Danny love. Uh oh. I'm reading into it too much, aren't I? Yikes. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Why does Danny look like he's a part of the losing team? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was. Did you not watch him playing the game? He's fucking pissed he didn't win. <laughs> that's true, that's he, true. He, he just lost, bro. Oh, he's getting that donation refunded right now. Minus seven million. Okay, so in the five stages of grief, right? First there's denial, then there's anger. I'm at bargaining. At least they'll have a lot of time this off season to do uh, Coinbase sponsorship stuff. That's Dude, a, that's a big win for TL. True. They'll Dude. have more. They'll have more time for fan meets. Liquid's about to make them all earn their fucking keep. They're they're all sheeshing for like. But going to Argentina, the entire baby. off season. They have to hold one ongoing sheesh for their ultimate content piece. <laughs> oh, dude. The content this offseason is going to be absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, no. Is that Danny's mom?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Axel tweeted, no tactical, no worlds. Who? He's been but sitting on that one for a while. Danny just made worlds, and they had tactical possessing him, so... <laughs> Holy moly. Kind of a weird thing to say. I don't know. No Jensen, no worlds. True. No double lift, no worlds. Also true. Wait, is that actually true? Let me think. 20. No, 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 no. 2020, they, they made it. True. And then 2021, they didn't make it. 2022, they didn't make it. Wait. They, they did make it. They did make it last year. I'm an idiot. What are you saying, dude? Yeah, they, whoever said that, put to it. All right, Danny, this is your turn. Next week, you're a stage player, big crowd player. Huh? Vulcan, overall thoughts on this? I'm very happy because I feel like after a recent performance, I personally wasn't very confident, and I feel like our team, we lost a lot of confidence with everything that happened. Uh, these past few weeks, and I kind of knew that this series would be very low elo, and I feel like it was not <laughs> very high level, <laughs> but I'm happy that we, we came together, and I feel like we played very well as a team, and I think it was much better than, uh, even though we didn't play our best, I think we played together, and we made mistakes together, so I like it. So is there any additional level of you and the team trying to get into the heads of Team Liquid as well? We saw Inspired kind of going around, canceling some autos, a few emotes thrown through. Yeah, I mean, TL is the kind of team that has a lot of pressure on them because the team, the org has invested a lot into this lineup and they, they you know, collected all these superstars and um, uh -oh. they had a lot of pressure from the staff to perform and qualify for Worlds, win the split. Um, and we definitely go into lobby and ask them if they're going to choke sometimes. Um, <laughs> you know, we're trying to get into their head a little bit because um, we know it's a lot of pressure for them. And obviously, respect to all their players. I think they're all pretty good and um, very happy to compete against them in such a banger series. Um, but also happy that Corte J still hasn't won a split since I've been on a good team. Oh! I know there's so much discussion between you and Holy Corte J as far as that. Holy shit, destroyed. Here in the LCS. But a lot of pressure on both of these teams, especially He's in got his game number five. or How what? How are you handling Damn. that when things kind of swung the other way for a moment? He should talk Core and his back. past teams. Yeah, that was scary because that should never <laughs> happen. We were like in the second. Giga Chad. <laughs> and it was a pretty big, pretty big blunder that happened that kind of allowed them to come back into blunder. the game, but... Blunder. Either way, I still felt like our draft was so much better. And when I loaded into Champ Select, I was looking at all 10 champs, and I was like, wow, what are they drafting for game five? This is troll. And the only champ yeah. that can do anything is this Jinx, and she's playing against MF, where MF is just going to press E ult on their head, and then she can't really do too much damage. So um, game five, the whole way through, we were just saying, we can just chill, we can you know, farm for the game in a style, and we will just be able to outscale. And it's kind of up to them to make plays, pretty much. Now yeah, but he forgot to, to mention that not tethered by Aatrox w. w. In game number five means <laughs> qualifying to Worlds, going to True. Chicago, and also just thoughts on going to Worlds. Yay. I'm very happy to go to Worlds, yeah. Mostly because of my bonus and my contract, and, you know, in NA, you play for money. Whoa! <laughs> we play for money. Well, it's yeah, funny. I mean, worlds is where you want to be. It's where everyone, the best players in the world will come to play, and it's always where you want to compete, and I'm super happy to do that once again. And it'll look great on my resume. And... Um, what did I want to say? What was the question again? World's baby. <laughs> World's baby, Chicago. Chip on your shoulder. Didn't yeah. get to make it with Cloud9 2020. Oh, yeah. right. That's right. Yes. Um, I definitely had flashbacks because in the um, C9 series, I played two games of Yumi. And in 2020, when I was playing against FlyQuest and we got knocked to the lower bracket before we didn't make Worlds, I was also playing Yumi. And then I was having like very similar flashbacks. And I was like, wow, it's happening again. I'm the peasant of summer. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to make worlds. But not clap in summer once again with my team and, and show that we're good. So. I'm the fucking peasant. In the bar, so dude, they need to do more interviews with Vulcan. Right? This dude is yes, fucking we, hilarious. He's it's so funny. That game, it's very well spoken. quite so many plays as I did with Bard. So very... He's got such a big there bulge. Oh, whoa. More to the journey, though, when it comes to achieving Not right now. He does Why does he always put a banana in his yes. pocket before his yes, interviews? Going I don't Chicago, know. But you still got to battle through this lower bracket. It's really like you bananas. Got another opponent here coming up before you get into that finals. What do you think about 100 Thieves and facing off? Um, they look pretty good before they played C9. I mean, I feel like in the C9 series, they were also not bad. They fared better than we did against C9, so we'll see. But... I feel like this year, and especially the summer split, uh, all, four top, um, all four top teams uh, kind of take turns being the better team. And 
uh, we have the lower bracket buff, and we've done it before. We've been in an arena, and we performed the best out of everyone that was there. And I don't see why we wouldn't do it again, so. I'm sure that'll be the mantra of all of the Evil Genius fans that will be cheering you along the way. Thank you for the interview, Vulcan, and congratulations again on the victory here today. Thank you. We do have Inspired standing on by with High for our Pro to Pro, so let's check out what they've got going on. So, congratulations on this. This was a really well-played series from you. You guys won 3-2. <laughs> you're going to Chicago. You're going to Worlds. Do you have any final statements for anyone, either like Team Liquid, the players, well, or anything? I mean, today, I, I was like, not really thinking about winning. I just wanted TL to lose. Cause <laughs> it just feels so good to be the super team in like decisive match and don't let them go to Worlds. True. Uh, it just feels so good. I think I've never been so happy in my career. I oh, think this was like the most... I'm, I'm the most happy of all the time after a win. I, Jesus. I, I'm so sure not even 50% that happy when we won the Spring Split. Right now, it feels <laughs> so much better. I'm really excited to see you guys play at Worlds and play at uh, Chicago. That's too, fucking so funny. <laughs> That's all I have for you here today. It's We're about to send you guys over super to the uh, Bud Light Breakdown. He just wanted them to waste Thank their so money. Much, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, Inspired is part of the proletariat, man. He represents the working man. Down with the 1%. Yep. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, Danny, man? <laughs> He's just in the chair like, oh, oh fuck, we won, man? Ugh. He must be feeling something weird. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think he, he honestly just looks shocked. Like, it's like he, like, for a sec was smiling and celebrating, and then he's crying. Yeah. I think I mean, he's like just overwhelmed. He must feel really disappointed or something. Like, I mean, that's my guess. Yeah, yeah. I think part of that with himself, right? Like, there was a LCK finals where Piglet won, and he cried because he thought he played really bad and still won. Yeah. I mean, we we were giving him a ton of shit. I mean, Hans too. Like, holy fuck, oh, Hans both, in that last game, man. Like, he they, actually they fucking both, tossed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they were both tossing it pretty hard. Yeah. Must be rough on them both mentally. Just like purely from themselves, not from anyone else even saying anything. Just like they know that they fucked up so hard. Dude, oh, dude. watching <laughs> that pick from Inspired's POV where Hans was just recalling the bush looks so fucking troll. Like he just sees Poppy <laughs> yeah. walking at him. He's like, nah, I don't think he'll stun me. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He might have had the shop up. Yeah. Even worse. I don't well, know. Like, like that's just running just troll. Too. Hmm. I really think it was it was support gap most oh, I mean, there, there was like top gap as well but it was hmm. pretty it was pretty I'll big go gap Yerkson pretty hard yes they, they, it was both pretty big actually you're right actually holy shit he he actually did fucking they both outperformed everyone outperformed their opponent pretty hard I think Gary was uh, pretty <laughs> Yeah, even. <laughs> Let's put that at the bottom. <laughs> Try to focus on the positives for EG. <laughs> Not trying to take away from their moment here. This whole playoff so far has been so weird. Because in the beginning, there was like some games where I was like, this is insane. These playoff series are, they're, they're so high level. Like it's so fun to watch. And there's, obviously there's mistakes, right? But there's like a certain level of just like one team just doing something great to win. Yeah. This week has it's like a little bit of a breakdown. I, I hope in the next week, the next round, it's like back to the teams in peak form. Seems like C9's in in really good form. So yeah. they're kind of the favorites to win right now between the three teams. Absolutely. Peace boys. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Peace.